reasonable thing to do. I'm on the phone, Ian. I can't Sorry. talk. Fabian relocate and then we'll start. Alright. So right now just to, to remind you uh, the two people who are most opposed to you are uh, Skynet and Waylon Yutani. <clears throat> they are both really close to taking action against you. Um, I am going. I've, I realized I might end up with a difficulty here because uh, I'm going to have to switch to wireless as opposed to wired. So I'll see if I can. I just wanted to let you know that it might be a small issue here as I try and figure out how to not interrupt everyone. Okay. Well, we'll just hold on a second and we will wait until you get that sorted out. So. If they get really upset with us, they'll probably send a courier cease and desist letter from their lawyers, something like that. Something, some sort of package will arrive for you. I have no doubt of that. Enclosed is my little friend. <clears throat> you want to play tough? Um, and uh, Ben, you will have your uh, drone back at this point. Okay. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> Let me see. Um, mm -hmm, cash. Did that interrupt the? No, it did oh. not. Are you all set? Yes. Go ahead. Excellent. Um, so uh, you guys uh, uh, worked your magic uh, uh, last time uh, and were able to, to do some uh, do the operation with, with some, some more noise than you'd intended, um, which certainly raised a, a little bit of heat. Uh, for you uh, on the streets because of that. Um, and uh, so we take up sort of between missions. Uh, essentially, I want to check in and see what everybody does kind of in their downtime. Is there anything they're working on? Is there anything they're looking into? That kind of thing. Um, so let's start uh, with you, Scott. Um, what is Trace doing? I am going to um, call up uh, Rick and see if I can get together with him and tell him I need to talk to him. But an important <clears throat> Is that cool with you, Rake? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> so where would you guys meet up? Describe to me the location. Um... Someplace, uh, someplace, uh, safe, probably, um, uh, maybe, um, oh, let's see, what would be, what would be, what would be a pretty good, uh, uh, meet up at my shop that should be pretty safe sure we'll go for a shop okay um so he takes you to his shop which is kind of his uh multitasking tech place with uh you know his cyberware so so describe to me ben what that place looks like so <clears throat> it's uh underground kind of like in a basement of a uh warehouse not really top secret or anything but um, sprawling open area with lots of um, machinery, high tech stuff, and uh, a couple of bays where people get upgraded, quote unquote. Um, <clears throat> computers humming, a couple of uh, drones in the works, and um, 
<clears throat> you know, the big bear drone is over in the corner there. Uh, the first floor of the garage is where my, uh, or warehouse is where my uh, <clears throat> van is. So it comes in. It's pretty clean, um, well lit, <clears throat> um, but on the outside, somewhat on, I'm assuming. So he's probably got uh, various uh, Ripper Dock Roombas, essentially the cleanup bots that go around and uh, 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 scrub up all the bodily fluids and blood and yep. um, uh, uh, <coughs> um, uh, bio oils that uh, are used with cyberware. Um, so he keeps it, it fairly clean. Um, and um, so you, Trace, can meet up with Rake. And what are you, what are you discussing? I will uh, uh, say that uh, Rake. I was. Uh, uh, I I appreciate uh, uh, your help in our last uh, operation. I think we worked pretty well together, and, and we did. <clears throat> and you 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 stuck in there, even though neither of us were really suited for a break Combat. entering role uh and so i need to tell you that uh i went to purchase some uh, uh new programs for my deck and i was offered uh payment in the form of uh build uh installing a back door into your bear drone Payment, or <clears throat> you mean uh, uh, a directive from somebody? A, re who... a return for services re for, for the program. <clears throat> in return, I would install a, uh, a back door into your bear drone. I see. <clears throat> and could you install a back door into the back door of the bear drone? I was actually, uh, uh, yes, that's the reason I wanted to speak to you. To you. I'd like to install uh well before you say any more uh, uh break uh, opens up um sort of like a closet looking thing <clears throat> and um it's a uh, faraday cage so i don't know if lol you know what a faraday oh, cage yeah. is oh yeah but basically you know like no no signals whatsoever can come in and out of this uh room it's not a big room relatively small room but extremely safe for Obviously, for, for communication, absolutely no wireless anything here, no cables of any sort coming in and out. <clears throat> um, and it, and he in the corner, Scott will notice there's an actual safe where, you know, probably he keeps his money. So not too many people come to this sort of back office, tiny little desk there <clears throat> with, um, um, you'll see some, some of my, uh, this is where I keep my guns also. So, uh, I say I'd say to Scott, you know, so we're, we should be pretty safe talking about this here in case um, your people that hired you <coughs> um, are us. spying on you. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so I would I would like to install yes, basically a back door into the back door, or more importantly, a, a trace of some type to trace uh, whoever it is that wants to. To get a back door into your your uh, bear drone because if I I basically don't install the back door, they're going to find someone else uh, uh, to try and do it. So we need to find out who it is that is so interested in your in your work and have a talk with them to find out what's going on because I don't. Uh, I don't want uh, your big nasty bear drone to suddenly uh, go on the fritz and start mauling us or something like that. Yeah, that would be really bad. <clears throat> uh, I I I think that would be a good idea. <clears throat> uh, or even just getting information on us could so against so them. how dangerous would installing this back door be like anybody could take over my bear suddenly that doesn't sound like a great idea <clears throat> if he's going to carry through what what he was contracted to do then it will be um you know the the back door will have to work 
Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I, <laughs> I'm just this is just Rake saying this, right? So I'm aware that that's probably what would happen. <clears throat> so what can I uh, uh, do to minimize the effects on this of, of this back door, or can I do something to trace trace it back to? Bro, we're in the middle of a mission, and then suddenly, you know, <clears throat> bear goes just out of control. That's probably that could kill us, right? <clears throat> Conceivably, yes. If, if, especially if it's a plan involving your your drone. So, is there is there like uh, a failsafe that he can uh, 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 work into the drone that that bypasses the the back door? If like you want, if you want to have it have it operational, such that the person's going to give you approval and all that kind of stuff on it. It's going to have to function. Probably your your easiest bet would be to have it so that it would go off, would set up so you could trace, uh, but then it would shut down the, the bear drone. All right. Does that sound... Uh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> I mean, it still could be dangerous if we're... Relying on the bear drone for muscle or so something, and they choose that moment to to enable it. But I, I guess it's if that's what we have to do to get a lead on this this person, then that's what we have to do. Otherwise, someone else is going to do it at a time time with of not our choosing. So, if it's all right with you, uh, that's. That's what I would like to do, and you can observe me doing it so that you know how, how it works. Okay. <clears throat> um, and I'm not a super expert in, you know, that sort of thing, but uh, I probably have enough of a working knowledge to <clears throat> understand kind of what's going on. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so yeah, you guys can can do that without too much problem. Uh, get that set up, Scott. You you get into the the, the software of, of the bear, um, and you will lay in the uh, the back door um, and sort of give the confirmation signal um, that that it is in. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Okay, you've got it set so that if it gets activated, you will be alerted. And you will then have the, Ben will have the option of shutting the bear down or not. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Daddy, bye-bye. Um, with all this talk of back doors out of the way, um, what are you up to? Um, well, I was, I guess, I have two thoughts. Um, let me ask a mechanical question first, though. Sure. Um, I'm, I apologize if I missed this before. Do hit points reset? Yeah. If you, it, remember last unless time, you take, it, unless you a, take a lot of damage. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Essentially, if you hit uh, 2,200 mm -hmm. uh, or above, those you had to pay coin to to get down. Okay, uh, so I, I bought myself down to 21, so I restart then at the beginning of this game. Yeah, you would have cleared out. Essentially, uh, you probably look worse for wear, um, and you're probably running on that slight buzz of uh, trauma derms and the other pharmaceuticals that you mix. <clears throat> the class. You didn't get paid off yet, right? Is that true? You got paid, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. That, now, that I, I think maybe we should think about buying some Traumaderms for our missions. <laughs> it might help. I don't think I wrote down. Can we reverse engineer how much cred we should have? Um, if you haven't spent anything yet, <clears throat> uh, I don't know if I can do that. Uh, what last time would have happened is you you in, for the mission two sessions ago, you right. uh, uh, you offered up two cred. Right. You would have gotten that two cred stake back, and you would have gotten two more cred. We started with five, five. right? And then at the end of the first session, Lowell gave you us two plus four. Two, four, so nine. So nine plus four, right? So we should be at 13, is that right? Yeah, minus <clears> the, the payments that you made for 
healing last time. Correct. So I should be at twelve. Okay. No. <clears throat> well, I, I had to make a payment for healing. So nine plus two because we just get our stake back. We didn't double our. Oh. Stake. Oh. Right. Right. We had okay. nine. We staked two, and then we got four. So we should have eleven. Yeah. I see. Okay. So I'm at ten because I have to spend one to heal. <clears throat> okay. As do I. Gotcha. Okay. So then. Um, let me ask you this, Lil, because the, the ending took a different course than I thought it would. Uh -huh. um, I want to, I guess, follow up on my attempt to sell uh, Skynet out to uh, the, what's it called, the Savage uh, Pharmaceuticals or, or whatnot. Um, so you want to follow up with uh, Savage Pharmaceutical? Yeah. And attempt to negotiate uh, some payment for selling out that info? Yep. Okay. That seems like a a reasonable thing for you to do. Um, we don't know him. Uh, so I think I'm going to... Let's see. <clears throat> Oh, the horrors! Oh my gosh, yeah. Ha ha, not mine. T <laughs> Was he in the Boy Scouts or what? So you want to do this and sort of not get caught here, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me think here how we want to do this. Um... Let's have you roll style. All right. That's a nine. That's a nine. No, it's actually... No, that's an 11. That's an 11. Um, I hate how it's an it for you. <laughs> yeah. Because they're, they're so, they're, they're, the interface is so good in every other respect. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's a fan-made thing, so... Uh, it makes me... It's a deliberate, actually, since that would be... You would think that would be pretty easy. Yeah, probably. Maybe they want you to, to, to be able to see what everything is. Um, so, you will talk to somebody, and... Uh, you have two choices, Matt. Wow, that is some serious noise there. Um, Sorry, I that, thought I was muted. Um, you have two choices. You can either you can either get. I'm getting some echo now. There we go. Not going. Okay, uh, you can either get yourself three credits. Look at that. That's pretty oh, fucking pretty awesome, good. huh? That's pretty good. Uh, or the box. The box. <laughs> or I can reduce Savage Pharmaceuticals alert track down by one and clear that for you. Let's see where Sarge Pharmaceuticals is. Uh, they're pretty low already. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to take the money. Okay, you get three more credit then. It's, it's not really about the money. It's really about the joy of effing Skynet. Fair enough. And and you did well enough that it's not going to necessarily immediately get back to them and and uh, push that uh, Skynet alert track up. Um, and, and because I hate Skynet, I'm I'm opening the kimono here for Savage. I'm not just telling them, yeah, it's in the you know what's it 145 or whatever unit. Yeah, zero four. I'm giving them everything we learned about it. You know, from the research Ben did, our signature on the virus and whatnot. Like, I, I'm really turning everything over to them. Okay. Okay, that seem that seems reasonable, um, and uh, uh, you managed to do that without generating uh, too much additional heat for you, because essentially they've already expended their their anger and heat on you for the moment on this. Sound good? It does. Okay. Um, what about you, Ben? What do we see from you? So I have <clears throat> um, I have enough experience to kind of level up. Yeah. And. Um, that allows me to take a <clears throat> excuse me. That allows me to take a um, 
what should we call it a, a a move from my playbook or somebody else's? So that yeah, you, you if you mark that as your advance, and that you can take that. <clears throat> and so my question to the group was: Does anybody does anybody have any kind of medic abilities at all? Does anybody take? Did anybody take any kind of healing abilities? I don't know that there are any. I guess I. Well, now I have. I I can take one. Um, I've got a uh, one of my things I can take is a is a medic. <clears throat> I don't have any medical skills now. Okay, so maybe I'll do that. I'll take. Um, you get these three. What? Oh, yes. So. I think I'll take a, <clears throat> an expertise uh, move in medic. You're an expert in medicine and pharmaceuticals. When you apply first aid, you heal one additional harm segment, <clears throat> even on a miss. So that seems like it kind of fits also in with what I'm doing with my shop and stuff too. So, <clears throat> so you're, are you taking you're taking diverse interests or jack of trades? The 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 move that allows you to get one more, right? I um looking. I I just remember that I could take a move, and I was looking on page one twelve for the moves that yep. I can take. I just want to make sure which one you're you're. Uh, let me go back to where is the experience thingy again? Um, let's see. No, you're taking a move, and it's just a qu a question on one thirteen, which one you're taking. Oh, one thirteen. <clears throat> Um, I think it's on page 112 where it says expert. Nope, I want you to, that's the one you start with. Please oh. go ahead and look on 113. You'll see it says oh. diverse interest and jack of trades, which is a, an additional move. Because you can oh. only take each one once. I just want to make I sure see. which one you're marking. Choose one more area of expertise, choose one more Oh, I see. Um, choose one more area of expertise. Right, which is right. Okay, so um, uh, diverse interests, okay. I think, is what I'm taking. Yeah, so just <clears throat> note that down as that, so we have that recorded. Yeah, so sure. let me see. Oh, that's interesting. Bypass. Um, let me assess, blend in, bypass. Well, these are kind of interesting, too. No, nah, but I'll take, I think I'll take... Um, the medic? Nobody's got a medic thing, so sure. they'll do that. Um, and if, and uh, if you if you pay uh, a couple of credits, mm -hmm. you can have a, a ready supply of trauma dermis for your missions. Okay. Okay. How many? Or what do I have to do? To... So just we'll uh, I think <clears throat> just if you pay two credits now, we'll say that you have enough trauma derms for okay, mission un unless unless something goes wrong and you run out of trauma derms based on a roll. Okay. Sure. Okay. I'll pay two. All right. <coughs> so. Do, so how, so I should you... write diverse interests. Oops, diverse um, <clears throat> uh, and expertise in medic. Okay. Sure. So how do you imagine that? Is this something that you knew before, and we're just kind of coming to that? Or I think you know, uh, basically, you know, as you uh, <clears throat> start working on projects, and as I've started doing some jobs I noticed some people get injured and stuff um, the true life story is uh, my friend um, <clears throat> uh, Lee he um, he decided to uh, I met him at you know a gaming store and stuff he decided to become an acupuncturist right and it was great his stories of when he first started learning acupuncturist, like he'd stick needles to in himself, right, to practice, and like mm -hmm. blood would come out and stuff. So, you know, the, the sort of side effects of applying these things, I realized that uh, I think it's in my best interest to, to as as um, somebody got hurt on my one of my uh, not you know majorly injured or anything, but um, <clears throat> uh, I think it's in my interest just to learn how to patch people up too, because as they tear them apart. <clears throat> sure. Do you imagine that's something that your character has known and is learning more about, or do you imagine that it's like you went and got some, like uh, uh, like some brain tape, deep training, you know, uh, uh, like uh, uh, high end resed into your brain kind of stuff? No, I think he's always kind of known stuff just from his shop, but like less formally and um, kind of just with. Uh, 
uh, just from experience, but he lately decided to uh, hunker down and I think uh, get and study some some uh, more formal training and stuff, maybe with some tapes. <clears throat> All right, that sounds that sounds good to me. Um, so yeah, you can get the, the the medical expertise. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh, so you have, that, you have the trauma terms. Ringo, what about you? Um, I'm just getting up from being under the knife. And uh, 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 how does it feel to have those wired reflexes? Um, I imagine that it's... Uh, I'll be right back. Sure. Somewhat of an ex uh, almost a mandatory rehab for this as you learn to to move and um, operate within the, the real world now that uh, 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 your rea reaction times have all changed. And um, so I imagine he's quite, uh, he's through that now. Uh, he kind of both with some, uh, uh, I guess, some of their hypnotic rehab kind of thing, kind of retraining the body in a very short amount of time. But he's still kind of really twitchy uh, from the whole experience. Yeah. They probably, uh, uh, since you have this background and probably as your, your chain of contacts, you probably do go out and go through the, uh, uh, to the, uh, West coast, uh, LA, uh, cyber vet, uh, essentially hospitals, um, where essentially they put uplifted and, uh, genetically enhanced troopers that they put through the slumberland program, uh, uh, there. And so they probably got the best, you know, systems for doing rehab, uh, on mm -hmm. you. Uh, and there is that thing where you do, like you said, have to adjust your speed and they probably keep you doped down pretty significantly for the first, first week or two, um, to, yeah. to keep you from, from blowing through it. Um, and, uh, so what, what is the, what is the weirdest side effect of having these? Um, the weirdest side effect when I, when I first, uh, when I first got home, if you would, in, in, in my general area, um, I kept, uh, hearing odd noises and, and just general muscle twitches, but instead of just reacting, I was like, uh, almost knocking myself around as I tried to spin around and find out what's that, what's that? Just kind of like almost this this paranoia that some uh some uh what's a good western term varmint was trying to get the the drop on me and just kind of like spinning around and 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 just kind of not even being able to control it and just kind of like going all the way around and just getting like winding up in a heap and looking like a a, a Galdarn fool. Meth freak. Okay, uh, that's exactly all right. Uh, that seems reasonable to me. It, it takes you a while to get used to, but again, you are a badass, um, so you are able to adjust to it, um, and faster than than other people would be able to. Um, you're already living in a slightly altered reality, so you're able to 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 adjust your your parameters decently. Gotcha. Um. Uh, Daddy, bye bye. Uh, uh, since Xavier is uh, off the grid right now, mm -hmm. um, uh, apparently uh, going to uh, mass, uh, essentially. Uh, he uh, said he was going to confession. <laughs> uh, you'll get a call from uh, uh, Tolwar Rust, uh, the fixer who helps you guys get jobs, and he will say. Uh, Morplethorpe. Hi, what can I do for you? Uh, so I, uh, I heard through the grapevine it was a little falling out between you and your last, uh, contractor. Um, things, things went a little pear-shaped. That happens from time to time, but we, we still pulled the job off. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So, you know, nobody's, nobody on the street saying that you guys are, are total fuck-ups. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, are you guys on the Define market? fuck up. Um, uh, uh, didn't get the job done and, uh, betrayed, 
uh, your client. Well, define betrayed. <laughs> See, I, you know, you're, you're going down the line I don't need to know about, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, let's uh, let's let bygones be got bygones. That's water under the bridge. What can uh, we do for you? So, uh, I'm, I'm, I've got some jobs that came up on the boards, and uh, I've been talking to some people. And if you guys are interested. I should have uh, a couple of things uh, to put forward for you, um, uh, you know, un unless you guys are uh, already have something cooking. No, no, we're all ears. We're always interested in hearing about a compelling opportunity. Yeah, so um, let me give you just the basics um, as much as I can tell you uh, without you meeting with the client. Um you know, because if you're going to meet with them, that means you're serious about it, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're total professionals. This is a long pause. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, I've got two things. One looks to be a, uh, a smash and splat. Um, uh, it looks like, a, 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 I don't know if it's a follow-up or a break-in or something like that, but there's a, there's a target to be... Uh, eliminated. I don't have the, the full details, obviously, but they need somebody. They need some mobility. Um, they need some people who can do legwork. They need some some. They need a diverse skill set in addition to having somebody who can uh, 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 blow a skull open. Um, so that's. Are you, are you looking for violent or super violent? I don't know what the client wants. I'm going to tell you the two jobs, and then you can figure who you guys want to talk to. That's the that's the problem, of course, with these kinds of things. Is you got to go in a little bit blind. So the other job looks to be a uh, a drop in, like a uh, a drop into a hostile zone and an exfiltration from a hostile zone. Um, that's at least the basics of what I got. Um, so. I don't know which one you guys would be more interested in. Um, let me and my crew take this offline, and we'll, we'll get right back to you. Okay, okay. Um, if you, he says, if you hit the streets to look into these, don't push too hard on it. Okay, that's just just my request. All right, you got it. You got it. You know, be a, a totally unprofessional for us to take any actions on this without first confirming with you. That's the thing is is I work on trust. Got it. You got it, pal. And uh, he will will disconnect uh, uh, from his uh, multi layer encrypted uh, communications with you. So one was, I, I heard the second the uh, one was a smash and grab, and the other was a <clears throat> drop and find somebody exfiltration. Oh, smash, smash and murder. I'm kind of the second. I'm more Smash suited for the second type of job. You guys are suited for the first type of job. <clears throat> I'm, I'm more inclined to do the second. I I don't want to off somebody that's not shooting at me unless I have a darn good reason. Yeah, I'm uh, the second job for me. <clears throat> exfiltration means we have to get some so, someone or something out? Yes. This is yes. All right, that sounds good to me. It's better than uh, just murdering murder. something. You know, murder yeah. is wrong, I say. Guys, I'm you glad know, you feel that way. You know I seek to achieve consensus across a matrix of everyone's interests. Um, but I was hoping that maybe we could think about aligning on the fact that it's way easier to kill someone than keep someone alive. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, there, Chip. Well, I mean, he does have a point. It is certainly easier to kill someone than keep them alive. Like I said, I'm not in the business of murder. Ah, oh, boy. My fudge beasts, they, they could really use some sick S to bug out on, but... Um... Sounds. It well, sounds... I'm, I'm, I'm sure there'll be hostiles in this zone. 
that we're exfiltrating from, so I'm sure there'll be plenty of opportunities for violence. Fair enough. All right. Um, and Scott, your character's name is Rake, is that correct? Yep. Trace. Ben Trace. Hi, I'm, I'm Rake. <clears throat> okay, Trace. Uh, so after this, are we, are we meeting virtually or, or all together? What do you guys think? I'm not a virtual kind of guy, so if if somebody's going to have to actually be there with me, whether it's all of them or just some of them, in order for me to take that call. No, I understand to do business. Sometimes you got to show face. <clears throat> you got to kiss hands and shake babies. Uh, oh wait. Um, I'll be virtual though. Did I get that backwards? <laughs> oh, so explain those charges. So you, uh, so you've got this like virtual hologram there, Trace, and so I go out to you, and not really processing the fact that this is a a, a a a hologram. You know, I mean, I'm kind of like playing out my own little virtual reality in my own head. But I'm gonna walk up to you and it's like, uh, you know, I just want to say I'm glad to hear that uh, you and I agree with that whole murder thing i taking a stand for what's right is important and i come up almost like in a very awkward kind of jerky way i kind of like go to like put my uh patch on give you a big hearty pat on the back and you know the whole you know glad we're on the same page kind of thing and i just like whip completely around and fall on my butt as i as i try and do that my hand goes through the hologram i try to correct and my nerves are not quite right, and I just like end up in a pile on the ground. <clears throat> are you all right there, partner? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, a little jumpy lately. The the docs gave me something, and it uh, it's uh, taking a little bit to shake it all out here. I tell you, some of that snake oil, some good stuff. And I'm thinking, boy, I hope this doesn't interfere with our mission. No, <laughs> well, no, so I'm good. Then we'll take the, the exfiltration. If my sick little apes are any indication, the medicine does nothing but help. Now, me, I, I, of course, I would not foul, befoul my body with that stuff. Only the finest krell and scotch for me. But, you know. Uh, all right. You eat. You drink krill, isn't that like a like a fish thing invertebrate? No, like krill like rails. The what? Rails, Bolivian like marching powder. Rails, so like iron anyway. horse thing. <laughs> um, I don't, gonna, I don't get we're, you. We're, we're gonna have to agree for you not to understand. Um. All right. So, we're all of uh, agreement then, the exfiltration? Yep, let's lock it in. Okay. You'll call up Tolwar, and uh, he will say, okay, good, good. That sounds like a, a good one for your uh, uh, set. Um, let me uh, uh, get you uh, in touch with the contact, um, and uh, you can speak with them and uh we will uh see see what how do we know Talwar? who i know he's our <clears throat> contact to help us a fixer to help us arrange jobs in context but he's, he's he... essentially in the the sort of the the business of that you guys are in a kind of mercenary work he's somebody who all of you got referred to at one time or another and then when you guys started working together you know he knows that you you have kind of a team and so he's followed up since then gotcha hasn't yet betrayed you i mean that's inevitability but for the moment uh he seems to be willing to take a small cut a finder's fee and uh, uh send work your way it's the most we can ask for and um so, uh, Matt, uh, uh, Daddy Bye Bye, 
when you go to meet to get the job, mm -hmm. uh, are you taking anyone with you? Oh, of course, of course. I'm going to take Ringo with me. We're not, we're not doing this without bringing Muscle. Okay. All right. And, All right. Uh, so, Does it make sense to bring anybody else, or would it be like alarming if we like roll in like super heavy? <laughs> you don't know. I mean, um, you're negotiating. You certainly, you know, if uh, it's a thing where you're going to be rolling, you can certainly get somebody to assist you uh, on the on the check if you wanted. Um, well, let's, let's just go like this. We okay. don't want to. Don't want to seem overwhelming. Uh, all right. Um, so uh, uh, this contact will uh, uh, meet you uh, at a uh, uh, like a. What is the best way to to put this? Uh, like a kennel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. And. Uh, contact clearly comfortable here um it's one of those sort of you know uh high-end uh, uh dog breeding uh, uh kennels uh, both genetics and uh, uh mechanicals and things like that and uh um uh this guy uh uh looks like maybe a tech or a scientist is his background um and uh uh, he's he's waiting. He seems real calm, um, like like maybe he's had some dealings with with shady characters like yourself before. Um, and uh, he's kind of uh, waiting around. He's talking with one of the the staff people when you roll in, and uh, um, he will walk up. Uh, he looks like he's maybe uh, half half. Thai, half Arab, it's hard to tell. Um, and uh, he will say, uh, you're Mr. Morpothorpe? Indeed I am. And he extends his hand for a laurel and hearty handshake. And he will give you a good, firm handshake. Uh, you do that thing where you guys have both been trained on handshakes, so uh, you, you take the measure of one another. Um, Did you say laurel and hearty handshake? Yeah, I couldn't resist a, a, a mm -hmm. blazing mm -hmm. saddles joke. Yes, got it. And uh, he says, uh, "Let's let's go over into one of these uh, 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 grooming chambers, and I'll I'll talk with you about what's going on." Okay. Sure. And uh, he'll walk you in there, and he'll say, "My name is uh, Kazashi Zach." Um. I uh, I work with animals. Mm. Uh, I Looks like you have some fine animals here. Uh, this is just just the place I chose. It's not my, part of my my circle of facilities. Um, but mm. uh, I take it you're not part of the uh, the Westminster circuit. You don't know much about that, Morpothorpe, or are you familiar with it? Um, I once videotaped some heinous fudge ape swallow a dog. Does that count? No. No, we're talking about something else. Uh, I do some work back behind the scenes for the high-end people who play that game with the, 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 the uh, death kennels. Uh, and and uh, the the high end uh, genetics mixings at the, the the top level for Westminster. In any case, um, this sounds terrifying. I'm intrigued. Yeah. Mm. Here's the thing: is I have I work with some clients, and one of the things that is sometimes requested is for us to uplift animals. You know, to, to give them the heightened intelligence, uh, to give them uh, uh, the greater thinking, things like that. Um, risky stuff, illegal in some places, questionable in others. Um, and, of course, uh, you know, sometimes uplifted animals get away. Um, that's not the situation I'm looking at here, though. Uh, 
essentially one of my clients, they had a dog that they particularly <coughs> liked that they had uh, go through the uplift process uh, in part to be a better companion, but also uh, to increase its breeding potential. Certain uh, other genetic modifications were made to this. Uh, oh, that's sick. Maybe, maybe from your, your perspective, it is uh, my bread and butter, as it were. Mm. Uh, uh, a couple of days ago, uh, one of the people within the... Uh, how do I put this? Within that person's network, uh, took the dog. Uh, because we had used some interesting cutting edge techniques things that we hadn't put out on the general market gotten paid pretty well on that anyway this guy took the dog and uh we were able to follow some trace back we believe that he has made arrangements to sell and transfer the dog to an agent of International Immobiliare. They're very interested in, uh, how do I put this, uh, the spiritual state of such uplifted beings, um, as well as the tech involved, perhaps in artificial soul generation. Well, in that case, our timelines are shifting, but go on. Hmm. So anyway, here's the thing. Um, we were able to track this guy, um, and I'll give you the full details on him that I have right now. Um, and he headed into the New Jersey urban resettlement zone. You know, the hive, uh, or as we call it, uh, Scaramucciville. Um, <laughs> so it's all, all that nasty den of uh, scum and villainy there. Um, and... Uh, we believe that he is going to meet the exchange somewhere uh, within the hive. Uh, so here's what we would like. We'd like you to, to get in. We'd like you to find the dog, find the drop, get the dog. We'd also appreciate you eliminating uh, the person who took the dog. Um, and then uh, exfiltrating said animal back here to me. All right. Uh, and the level of discretion that you require? Says, uh, I, as I understood it, uh, discretion is not necessarily your bag. Eh. That hurts. <laughs> we can you agree to disagree that. on that. Yeah. So what you're saying is no. <laughs> I, I'm saying that discretion right now for me is is frosting. All right. So you don't need a calling card or something there, do you? No, no, I don't think so. No. What what mm. I what I need is somebody, some badass is tough enough to get in, find out what's going on, get get the animal out safely, um, and uh, deal with the situation. Does that sound like something you and your compatriots can do? Absolutely. Get in, get the dog, get out. Yep. Yep. So, Matt, um, you, he will kind of start that process of negotiating with you, talking about money, details, information, all of that. Let's go ahead and have you roll edge. And, Lowell, yep. may I, essentially, he is looking for... Um, he said it himself, serious, uh, I, I've got to monitor my speech because of the kids, but serious. Yes, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to assist in the negotiations by putting out that vibe, that that's exactly what we are. So why don't you go ahead and roll links with Daddy Bye Bye. Okay. Was he going to say the C word and he didn't want to say it in front of his kids? Yeah, that's, that's right. what I was picking up. Okay, so since I don't have 
uh, link with bye bye yet. And you roll. Uh, that's two d six. Two d six. Okay. Ten. Hey, that's not bad. So yeah, Matt. Um, uh, he will be impressed by the muscle that you brought. Um, so you're going to get a plus one on your get a job roll. All right. That's with edge. Nice. Uh, <laughs> eight. So you get to choose one of the following things. Uh, the em employer provides you with some useful information. It gives you intel. Mm -hmm. The employer Keep provides you with useful assets. That's gear. The job pays well. The meeting doesn't attract attention. The employer is identifiable. Oh, um, I'm going to take that it pays well. Okay. Um, I will <coughs> then uh, easily take that into consideration there. Um, so... Uh, yeah, he will will, will uh, set you off. He gives you the name of the guy uh, who did this, and uh, essentially uh, the guy's name is uh, Pra Arnvid. And at this point is when we'd stake, right? Yes. So how much do you wish to stake, Matt? And it is... Uh... What was the, the the downside of staking the high side? Uh, well, when you stake three, for every person that stakes three, I move the legwork clock up by one. That's right. Well, you alternate legwork yeah, and leg mission, clock, mission right? clock. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to stake three. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Fabian, you're the next closest, so... What about you? Um, I'm going to stake one, or stake two. Stake two. Uh, Scott, what are you going to stake? Um, I'll stake two. Okay. And Ben, what are you going to stake? I'll stake two. Okay. All right, so, so Matt, you were able to, to take the good bite at the apple there. Um, and uh, he... He gives you gives you the, the, the name, gives you the general description, and all of that, and uh, he will let you go, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so, uh, Scott, Ben, uh, with that info in hand, I'm assuming you pass that all on, Matt, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Of course. Um, Scott, uh, Ben, with that in hand, what do you guys want to do? I'm going to do some research on this guy and see what I can find out about him, see if he has any links uh, to this hot hive people he might know that he might hide with or any other links that I can find to the hive that might help us find him in the hive, basically. Okay. Um, so, um, so who or what is related to this guy? Okay. Um, so go ahead and roll... Mind. Uh, mind, mind, my mind. Nice. So uh, I'm going to answer your question, and then you're going to get a follow-up question, plus you get to mark Intel. Um, so uh, it looks like this guy uh, originally uh, uh, got put on a uh, release program uh, from... Uh, the New Jersey, essentially, urban resettlement uh, zone, uh, essentially was, was one of those people who was able to get out of the hive about five years ago. Um, and he's been 
sort of on the, the straight and narrow, um, but when you follow back, you'll find that uh, he has been in contact with a, uh, a gang block leader within the, the, the hive um, by the name of uh, Shinpachi. Um, and uh, that guy uh, runs uh, the uh, 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 Chris Christie uh, 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 resettlement block. Oh. I bet you he charges a big toll for the bridges, doesn't he? Absolutely. Um, so my follow-up question is how... How secure is this Chris Christie resettlement block? It's not that it's secure. It's actually pretty, I mean, if you can get into the the hive, I mean, so imagine that the hive is pretty much like, um, uh, this is sort of an escape from New York situation where you guys are kind of going into a dangerous uh, lawless zone. There is some authorities there, uh, there uh, but they are kind of... Uh, they keep to their own areas. Uh, there are uh, uh, sort of high-tech RoboCop style enforcers that deal with real problems. Um, so getting in and uh, securely uh, uh, isn't isn't an issue once you're on site. Um, they're not going to have sophisticated security systems, things like that. Um, not going to have sophisticated necessarily uh, uh, computer uh, protections. Um, but they are probably going to have, uh, you know, f physical assets, essentially people and weaponry on site. Um, so that's the real danger there is uh, that they've got a big gang. The doggy dog world. That's true. Oh, so so Chip Chip uh, would would be happy to know there could be some gang on gang violence here. Oh yeah. So happening at the front door and the back door. He likes both doors, I've heard. So. That's what I heard. All right, let's just cut to the chase. If bear is one drone is a, if Ben's one drone is the bear, is the other the twink? There, <laughs> Thank you. we're done now. <laughs> um, uh, so that's that's your your go. Does that seem uh, reasonable for this round, Scott? <clears throat> yep. Okay, uh, Ben, what do you want to do? So I've got a skill, uh, <clears throat> which uh, I got a, I, uh, let's see, um, what is it? It's uh, blah, 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 expert in construction vehicles, um, oh, storage, storage, <clears throat> let me see. Uh, after receiving a job, you can look through your accumulated parts and supplies for equipment that might help with the current mission. Roll mind. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to do that. All right. He's rummaging through his stuff. He's got, like, um, part of his uh, warehouse there on the first floor. <clears throat> Looking to see, uh, you know, he's, like, going through parts and dog collars and, like, dog traps and, like... <clears throat> All that stuff. So let's see. Roll mind. Um, yep. Gotta bring on my character sheet again, which I just took down. I don't know why I did that. All right. Roll. Oh, look at that. Um, so you have three gear right now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, all right. <clears throat> and it, when uh, essentially you can spend that on site. And it's just, okay. re I mean, it's related to, since, to your areas of expertise, and since you have multiples <clears throat> of those, yeah, and you'll be able to define that. Essentially, that's used with the produce equipment role, okay? Okay, ha produce equipment role. So basically, so, so, I just say, hey, I find, I've, this is, I whip out something in my backpack and say this would be useful here now. <clears throat> yeah, it says, when you produce equipment you need at the right time, describe how and why your uh, pre preparations told you to bring it, and you that's spend cool. a gear, and you've got it. Cool. <clears throat> Thanks. Okay. Ringo, what about you? Um, I want to hit the streets and see if I can pick up some uh, 
discrete armor upgrades for uh, my compatriots here since we're going into action, and I don't know if they think about that kind of thing in advance. Okay. Um, so who is your contact? Um, <clears throat> let's see. It's going to be... Um, <clears throat> let's see. There's this one one guy down in the... Uh, uh, the hive area call, calls himself Gilgamesh. Okay. Down in the and, hive uh, area. Okay. Um, so you'll go talk to Gilgamesh. Uh, he's he's a uh, uh, a uh, essentially white freckled uh, uh, Rasta guy. Uh, big long dreadlocks, um, but tall, um, buff. Uh, he's got all kinds of old sort of Sumerian uh, 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 tattoos on him. Um, and uh, you'll go hit him up for armor. So let's let's look at the assets things real quick. Uh, what page is that? Uh, so that is 128. Uh, so, weapons are rare. Do, 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 do. so uh, what are you trying to get? Um some basic body armor for for everyone so rather than for spending everyone well yeah like four suits of this so four suits of what body armor of two armor body armor yeah but i'm assuming i'm renting it rather than purchasing it for everyone well yeah um but this is still still going to cost you the cred for it well how much cred are we talking about that'd be two cred per Two cred per. Yep. So this is expensive or illegal gear from restricted gear. Yeah, you're talking body armor. Yeah. Uh, um. So two cred per. Oh, jeepers. You could go no, just with I'm... the armored vest. That goes down to four cred. Four cred for everyone just yeah. to rent this. Yep. For just taking care cheap. of something. <laughs> taking care of something they should take care of on their own. Um, um, all right, I'll, I'll meet with this guy and uh, just discuss my options with him here. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, have you roll style. go over to the other window to see what actually that resulted in is oh going forward none <laughs> three so you'll go and check and he's the only person right now that you know that can get you this kind of body armor on the short notice that you need mm -hmm. um and you'll go to talk to him and he will say uh dude no i can't I can't do that for you right now. Uh, why well, can't you? I mean, you're all out. What's going on? No, no. He says, I've got, I've got some contacts and things, and I just got leaned on by them about you guys. You've heard of the uh, Firaki security team? They're a Wayland yutani group. Yeah, yeah, they're causing you problems. They've, they've got friends. They've got pull. Right now, I can't do anything for you. I see. Well, Maybe another time, once things get get cooled off, once uh, once everything's calmed down, man, I will I will will hook you up. But now, I can't do it. Well, all right. Maybe we can work out some kind of discount next time, then. Well, we'll see about that. He'll say yes, we will. the good news is you get to mark experience, though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, so 
So um, I'll walk away then. Okay, yeah, and that's the first you kind of hear that Firaki, those guys are out there, know your names, and are, are starting to push around on that. Okay. And uh, let's see, uh, let's uh, come to Matt. You're muted, though. Who might be muted? There we go. Um, so... I think what I would want to do at first things first is set a table for this because I completely intend to have a gang fight. Um, <laughs> Daddy Bye Bye's got to do a broadcast to let his ravening followers know that he's going to be in God's country, New Jersey. Um, so. He would, you know, take to the air and uh, kind of uh, imply that in the last broadcast, um, I guess that Cold Wars guy, that the lost Mexican coke had been recovered and that he knows there's more out there. And he kind of, you know, talks about how, like, they're going to be broadcasting live from New Jersey where they have heard there is another cache of Mexican Coke. And, um, and, uh, and I, you know, it's kind of set the stage so that there will be not just his own personal gang who he can just order around. But I, I chose, uh, I think it was called widespread the tag on my gang when I uh -huh. took the levers, which I assume is a mean, like, you know, yeah, this is, this is almost like something like uh, like juggalos, you know, like like they're they're everywhere. Okay. Um, so he's you know putting the people in that area on notice, you know, just getting them all riled up. Uh. So, uh, which of the um, uh, blocks uh, are your people centered in? Um, the Bon Jovi block, the uh, Kushner block, or the Rodman block? <laughs> Um, I've got, I've got to go with Bon Jovi if you give me those options. Okay. <laughs> you might as well jump. That's not I, Bon Jovi, Scott, but... I Get hear your... they're bad medicine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you for recovering that fumble. Um, <laughs> so, and I say, so here, like, the, 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 the umpty heads from this area in particular are known to be, like wear like tight leather pants and like three sizes too small belly shirts and have long matted hair with like fetid candy stuck in it oh god and when you say leather i mean they're still they're 500 600 pounds yeah in that yeah, yeah they're bursting out of these things okay they're they're you know uh 500 pounds of monkey shit in a 300 pound bag okay so, yeah, I don't think there's necessarily, given your background, your moves, and your skills, yeah, you can get those those guys uh, into position. Does that seem reasonable? It does. Uh, it doesn't seem like you're you're doing anything crazy. Um, it, it doesn't seem like you are uh, doing that stuff. You are doing it very loudly, though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is meant to be loud. Okay. So I'm going to advance the mission clock just based on the fiction there. Clarification, by the way. Yeah. Uh, we got an experience for getting the job, right? You will get an experience for getting the job, yes. Good job, Fabian. Good. Keep your head oh, in the game. Call that. Smart, smart. Um, who do we want to swing to next? You guys got plenty of segments left in the legwork clock. Yeah, we should really fuck up the legwork clock. We haven't really done that yet. <laughs> more research, more intel. And it actually kind of makes sense for this, right? The idea should be the more we do up front, right, this will be really smooth. It'll help recover our reputation if we're able just to kind of swoop in with swift and vine blinding violence, grab this dog. I'm, uh, I've got another thing to do if the others aren't going to speak up. Okay, so tell me what you want to do, Fabe. I want to walk the hive essentially put an eye on these gangs essentially you know not speak to not speak to a single soul 
just be seen popping up in an alleyway here and uh, walking down a street there, that kind of thing. Okay. Do you Staring want to, people down if they try and talk to me. Do you want to do this? There are two ways to do this, Fabe. Um, mm -hmm. One is for you to do an assess where you kind of go into the situation. You're going to get some, some uh, uh, hold, potentially get some hold that you can spend for some of the questions from the assess action later. Mm -hmm. Or you can do research, and we describe it as that, where you're looking for things, to, like questions you want answered, and potentially generate some intel for yourself for later. Um, well, let me counter, if I may. Uh, essentially, what I want to do is um, roll style instead as a fast talk kind of thing, just kind of just letting the the local Turks know there's a shark in the water kind of thing, and just this is not one one person you don't want to mess around with kind of thing. Using attitude to to get a a hold going forward in confrontations. Yeah, no, that's not what that's uh, uh, about. Um, okay, I, I see where you're going for there, and if you had a move that was particularly built to that, I would I would let you let you do that um uh, essentially that's um uh, uh, it would be i mean that would be the fiction of your assess or your research or potentially okay. if you want to get your npcs to do something you can go and play hardball with them if you want to find a, mm. a like a small gang and and do that hmm no, my my whole uh, concept of this is uh, uh, the, the whole Clint Eastwood doesn't say much kind of uh, walks around kind of thing, just intimidating with the the minimalistic approach. So I'll, I'll roll the assess then. Okay. And that's, I mean, and the, keep in mind, the questions are meta questions. You're not talking necessarily to anybody. This is what you're picking up. Okay. All Sounds right. Good. So let's have you go ahead and roll assess for me. Roll with edge. He's in the hive, you said, right? Yeah, he's going in. Um, which, which I'm going to stop you there before you go in. The other thing I need you to do if you're going to go into the hive is uh, you're going to have to roll act under pressure to actually get in there. Well, do we okay. know any of the names of the gangs that you mentioned? Or That would be a good thing to, to research, wouldn't it? Okay, I was just curious if, yeah. we, if I missed Okay, it. act under pressure is what? Cool. Cool, all right. <clears throat> And I'm ha since I had to move my computer, I'm having to flip between windows. So, ten on cool. Oh yeah, you're good. You you are able to. How how are you able to get in essentially to the lockdown prison that is the hive? Um, well, there's this one kind of smuggler's door that uh, a lot of the contraband that flows in there goes through, where some corrupt guards kind of uh, are are here and that's kind of known as the like the open secret kind of thing and um i just walk up to them and they kind of go to stop me and i just give them the, the crazy eye stare and they kind of just back kind of way okay. uh you know it's the late shift and they're not getting paid to mess with that sure so you know that that this is th that they probably won't be able to use this route again but uh you definitely get in without a problem um and uh, let's have you roll edge. Okay. Okay, edge. Flipping to this window. All right. Nine. So that's a nine. So you're going to get a hold for later. And you can hold that and ask any one of those assess questions. Um, you can ask it now if you wanted. Uh, if you hold it later for a situation, you can get the info, and then you get a plus one to act on it immediately. I'll take the hold for later. Okay, so make a note of that. Ben, it sounded to me like you had a thing you wanted to do. Yeah, <clears throat> um, he's uh, um, tech, so he's gonna see what kind of um, <clears throat> what kind of uh, uh, find out more about the gangs and what he's going up against and what kind of. Uh, technology they got and <clears throat> not necessarily um computer hacking sort of angle but the sort of what kind of hardware guns are we going up against what kind of security systems the techs angle <clears throat> sure uh we're gonna have you roll 
research, it seems like a research thing because you go into your, your resources, you're checking, you're cross-referencing things. <coughs> you can be rolling yeah. mind with that. Um, okay. And then we're going to look at those questions. I'll have you pick a question um, that you're definitely asking. We'll see where you go from there. So nice. That's a uh, that's an 11, it looks like to me, right? Yeah. Okay. So mark one yeah. intel for yourself. Okay. And then if you look at the questions under research, um, what is uh, what questions is questions under research? Um, <clears throat> what what page is that? Let me see. It's on the basic moves reference sheet. Oh, I'll, uh, I have the. Um... Yeah, let me pull the book. I have the book up. <clears throat> basic moves. Here we go. Um, research is 29. Okay. In the physical book. You must get a present in a library dossier. <clears throat> ask a question from Listerville. So, so I get to ask, Tana, to answer your question. I get to ask one question. <clears throat> and then I'm going to give you a follow up. Okay. Um, well, uh, <clears throat> I guess I'm going to investigate the or the um, what are the gangs involved that are that are here? Do we? Okay. Uh, so, who <clears throat> are the gangs related to this area? Is what you want to yeah. know? Okay. Right. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, the if we're if you're focusing in on, I mean, there are a bunch of gangs. Each one of these blocks has, you know, a different sort of group that's holding them um but the the uh three sort of areas that you've got is uh shimpachi's group at the uh, christie uh residential block um and uh then uh a guy named uh garska uh who's in charge at the bon jovi block but he apparently has some struggles going on uh, with uh, a bunch of umpties in the <clears> area. <throat> mm. uh, so he his hold is a little bit less secure. Tenuous, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the one that uh, uh, you think is actually uh, probably your – how do I put this? Uh, your most likely uh, – target is uh the uh shaquille block um uh, and that's uh, essentially at the shack block um uh, there's a, a woman named dixie who's in charge of it and uh she ha has a long running feud with uh shimpachi i see and <clears throat> just um remind me again we're we're this dog that's been lifted or enhanced or whatever. <clears throat> um, what do do we know anything about this dog? Who's holding it? Where do we find it? Do we know anything Here's at all? Here's what you about? know. <clears throat> you know the name of the guy who uh, is taking it in. Uh, and you got his name, uh, and that's uh, Pra Arnvid. You know that Arnvid it, it is associated with Shimpachi. So if he's going someplace that he knows, we're probably talking the, the Chris Christie residential block. You know that uh, he has the dog and you know that he's supposed to be meeting with a an, with an representative of International Immobiliare. I think those are the facts that are on the table for you right now. Okay. And um, I guess as my follow-up question, I'll try to find out um, uh, who or what is most what, what would I find? <clears throat> so uh, I guess what the, the last, the sixth question, what's the relationship between <clears throat> Pra Arnvid and um, International and Momblari? <clears throat> Ah, okay. Uh, so, uh, when you go back and you check about how 
uh, Arnvid got released from uh, essentially uh, the New, the New Jersey uh, uh, relocation. I mean, it's not exactly a prison, but it's more of a, a prison camp. Um, I mean, essentially, again, uh, escape from New York style. Um, you will find that uh, he was uh, uh, essentially strings were pulled from International Mobilare uh, to get him out. And you have the sense that he was recruited, that he had some technical knowledge. He had picked up some stuff on the streets there uh, in, uh, you know, uh, essentially the testing things had shown up uh, as promising. So he probably got recruited as a quiet sleeper agent at that point. Uh, Immobilare doesn't show up on the uh, standard listings. I mean, they clearly did this undercover. Um, so he's been a deep agent, and they probably told him to do this job. Um, and they've got a guy on site who's going to take possession of the, the animal. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. And I'll pass on the information to the others. Absolutely. Always assumed. Uh, Scott? Uh, I'm going to research um, a good way, basically, in and out that we might use to get in and out of uh, uh, this prison uh, district where the security is the, the, the laxest or... Um, some way that we can get in and out relatively uh, subtly with some maybe hacking work or or tech work. Okay. Um, so do you do we think we want to do this as a compromised security from the outside, or do we would you rather do this as a, a research where you can generate some intel? What do you think? Um. I'll just do it as research. Okay. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and have you roll mind. Oh, so close. Okay. Uh, so you're going to get intel. And uh, it does look to you like uh, there is... Of course, traffic in and out, uh, not much, but but enough to, to make sure that you know the residents don't starve. Um, so they have raw materials being being shipped in uh, to complement uh, the uh, sea dredge stuff that's making es essentially the the algae proteins that everybody's living on in there. Um, so there's some raw material deliveries, um, but there's also some. Uh, corporate, uh, how do I put this, uh, uh, bonus labor, like the, the corporations generously have some, some piecemeal work and things like that, that, uh, the, the locals can do, uh, to get themselves some, some spending money, of course, non-union and, uh, uh, that kind of stuff. And so there's a, a an in and out flow for a, for some of the corporations into there, uh, so uh, either one of those sort of supply chains you could probably hack your way in with pretty easily, um, and set yourself up so that if you need to get out quick, you can can get out. Does that seem cool? Okay, that seems cool. Yeah, so uh, you can get that set up so that. You've got a hot button to to let yourselves out. Um, Matt, let's come back to you. Uh, let me look at questions. Um, who's got a good edge? I've got a pretty good edge. I've got um, a decent edge. Someone might want to play hardball with Dixie to get us a. Maybe a place that we can work out of, or plead uh, um, to, or ass assist us. Well, I that, that, that seems more your style in terms of use of edge. So I think um, 
I want to. Hmm. Can I use like a sesh? Generally, or is that like is that in the moment? So assess you can you can study this place, mm -hmm. the hive, if you want, or if you want to, mm -hmm. just you know, since that's the thing you can study, um, and and do that, and then mm -hmm. you can spend the hold later. Okay. Um, or research, I guess, is more range then. Huh? Yeah. Um, assess it means you'd have to get on site and be I'm gonna mute. around. Okay. Um, I want, I want to know more about these dogs. These dogs concern me. Um, so I will, I will, I guess, research. Okay. Um, where's my dice roll go? Go away. It's not dice roll. Actually, oh, sorry. I closed out that window. Hello. You can. Fuck did my uh, character sheet go? Oh, there it is. All right, sorry about that. Um, so I will roll mind. I have more forward. Oh boy, not so good. So, uh. You will go to kind of start looking into it, and you're like, okay, I want to know about these dogs. I want to start poking around in this. And pretty quickly, you will realize that the kinds of levels of things that we're talking about in terms of these dogs are either one of two things. Um, are uh, either military, which you kind of don't think it is, or more likely uh, that this is probably related to one of the uh, New York arcology crime families. Um, and it's probably one of their dogs. Um, and uh, you think it's probably a dog belonging to the Messina crime family. Does that seem like a fair enough answer? Um, uh, any answer seems fair enough when I roll like that. Yeah. Um, but you do you do set off some bells. And you kind of have to, to stop po poking um, when you get some pushback. Like, you're asking questions, and then people start, you get that thing where people are asking back, well, who the fuck is asking kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you'll, you'll, you'll get that little bit. All right. All right. That's fair. Um, so, uh, Fabian, I heard that you wanted to do something here. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm having to... to rejigger my screens here since my kids moved um do you want me to, sure. to do somebody else and come back to you no um no that's all right let's go ahead and do this uh essentially scott had met had researched the one uh uh sorry i, I missed the thread here and in, in when he was speaking um the he wanted me to put pressure on somebody to get us a, a working base while in the in the hive is that correct Scott? I think, yeah, I think that was what he was saying. Yeah. Okay. There's, a, there's a woman, Dixie, that, that has is in another, a nearby district that has a beef with uh, the get, gang we're going after. So she might help us if, if the price is right. And, and you're a convincing... Now, just so you know, you're wanting me to go threaten her life to give us somewhere to, to set up, correct? You don't have to threaten. There's just the implication. Uh, you don't have to threaten her pers per personally. You can threaten her, uh, her gang. Uh, you can threaten her, her operation. 
just violence of some type. Um, I, just an idea. You, you can you can do what you want. All right. Um. Or you, right, can, I'll, fast, I'll, you can try a fast talker. I right, I'll I'll go meet with Dixie. Okay. Um, we've established that you you have a, a means to 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 get in, or you're still on site when this goes on. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, what's your? How is it that you get a meeting with a gang leader of one of these big residential blocks? Um, essentially, I show up at that residential block, and the first punk I see, you know, the the first guy on lookout, I grab him and say, I want to talk to Dixie. And I give him the the evil eye there. Okay. Um and that seems that seems pretty pretty reasonable for you guys. Um you know how to uh uh push buttons uh here so that doesn't seem like a too hard a thing for you to do. Um so they will take you up uh, the levels, uh, All right, uh, essentially, and uh, get you, get you up to see uh, Dixie. Um, she is older. Uh, she's got half her face has been uh, steel replaced. Um, mm -hmm. Other half has got some burns on it. Uh, she's got some other black market um, uh, cyberware there. Uh, so uh, she is nobody to be fucked with, and she's got a medium-sized gang with her. Um, uh, so it's a pretty serious thing. So uh, you can scale against a small gang, but they're bigger than that. Um, mm. uh, but uh, so you do, there is a little bit of a, uh, an edge issue there. Um, but, uh, she will say, what is it that you want? If you're going to fucking walk in here and just be all shit shape on here. Yeah. See, we've got a problem. We're running an op on someone you're not too friendly with. And, uh, I'm thinking it might be in your best interest to... Show us somewhere where we can crash and lay our heads while we figure this all out. It'll be, it'll turn out better for you if uh, if you cooperate. And I'm not threatening you. I'm just saying that it's gonna things are gonna go better and more likely to hurt the people you don't like if we can pull this off. See, in my experience, when people say they're not threatening me, they're actually threatening me. Are you threatening uh, me? I'm a pretty simple man. If I want to threaten you, I'll pull a gun. All right, Fabe. Let's have you roll style, then. You are trying to fast-talk her. Okay. Okay, now, again, got to flip through the windows to get to the other one and hit. I'm wondering if I should use... No, okay, we'll just do that. Then. Nine. And hmm, wonder if I should proactively use the hold that I had, or, or reactively use the hold that I garnered. From the assess. Um, it would boost it up to a ten. It yeah. would boost it up to a ten. What's the question you're asking here? Um. All right. The question I have for her, and I, I guess maybe I need to look it up in the. Yep. Look at the assess questions. The assess questions. All right. So, okay. I the question I will use is, where can I gain the most advantage in this situation? Stressing. Like what to push? Stressing that. Uh, you're going to be doing some damage to the Shimpachi gang. I mean, you want to you want to stress on that line um, that she and Shimpachi have have been at odds, 
um, and that they probably have a little bit of an edge. They've got some some support somewhere. Uh, and so suggesting that you can put a herding there is definitely going to be the leverage you need. Um, all right. I'll basically do that by saying, uh, as you can probably tell, we're not much for being subtle with me and my crew. Really? Yeah, really. And uh, we tend to make a little noise and things tend to blow up around us. Not quite sure why. I think it's, I try and comport myself in the best of the situation, but uh, I don't think uh, Shimpachi there is going to be standing quite as tall by the time we leave town. All right, all right. I can give you a place to, to set up. I can give you a room. You don't fuck with my guys. You don't make a mess on my my turf. You don't shit in my rooms. And yeah, I'll give you a place. And I'll give you some people who know what's what around here. Does that seem fair? Local guides, very helpful. We appreciate that. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate your time. I will... We'll check you out later. Okay. And I don't say another word. I just walk away. Okay. All right. Uh, Scott, Ben. Uh... Um, let's see. We've got... Uh, I've, got a, I've got a question. So, <clears throat> um, I was uh, curious, what, why, why this dog? Why is the... Um, crime family specializing in something that is <clears throat> why is it important this family is it just a probably more than just a pet <clears throat> right you got all the stuff about it being uplifted and genetically manipulated and all that stuff yeah is it unique because of that like no other animal has been uplift genetically uplifted or what so let me give you what he did give you so i just want to make sure that you you're on the same page on that um, uh, he told you that it, he had that the the guy who hired you had done some specialized genetic manipulation on it, stuff that was cutting edge and, uh, you know, uh, essentially unique. And uh, and I think he might have been having dog fun with it. And uh, uh, apparently his client who had done this also wanted this dog because uh, – uplifted A, because it was a family pet, but also because they wanted it for specialized breeding stock. So there's a whole tech angle and a whole high ah, utility okay. angle there too. All right. <clears throat> uh, does that seem reasonable? Yeah, yeah. That's what I was kind of curious about. <laughs> I, I, I did not care for the breeding part. <laughs> well, you're sure talking a lot about it. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, uh, Scott or Ben, uh, anything else you guys want to want to look into? Well, I think uh, just one more thing about the logistics. <clears throat> so far, all we know is this guy, Pra, has this dog, and he's meeting up with Shimpachi. Uh, like where, when, you know, like is the setting going to be, can we manipulate the setting? Can we, you know, what, where are the ins and outs of the place they're meeting? Well, who's going to, who else might be there? What's the security like? Uh, just some more details of the actual logistics would be nice. <clears throat> yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? So I think I'll look into that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so that seems like a research question there, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me do one last thing here. Hang on. I was looking at that list of questions you get from that. Uh -huh. And you could get really creative <coughs> and abstract with the what is the relationship between question. That's that's the way to play it. <laughs> okay. Let me get this one thing done here. Um so, Ben, what is your what is your what is your question? Give me give me the single question that that we're asking here. Can again frame it in terms of those questions that are on the research list. 
How secure is the meeting location that they're going to be at? You don't know where the meeting location is, so I think the first question oh. would be, where would I find the meeting location, right? Where would I find the meeting location, okay. yes. Uh, so let me have you uh, go ahead and roll mind. Okay. <clears throat> so that looks like a nine, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so uh, you're going to take Intel. Um and uh, not not far away from uh, the Shimpachi uh, block, from the Chris Christie block, um, is a, essentially a, uh, a Catholic uh, mission training camp uh, for both indoctrination and uh, uh, spiritual guidance and so on. Um, you expect that, given that that's a kind of a fortified uh, in international immobiliary location, uh, that that's probably where the uh, the handoff is going to happen. Okay. Does that seem reasonable? You said you mentioned something about intel. I, I... you get an intel point. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. <clears throat> Okay, cool. Cool. Scott? So, yeah, then I'll follow up with how secure is, is this tr training camp? Okay, let's have you make a roll. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if I need to... Oh, six. Now, oh, that's... you could spend... In here's, here's where it gets gooby. If you have intel, you could spend intel so that you don't get a fuck up on that. I'll, yeah, I'll spend or the Or <laughs> you could take the fuck up. I answer your question. I move. I, I, I advance some clocks. But you get to mark experience. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll use the intel and then get it back and answer my question. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so it's actually... Um, you expect there are two there are two things going on there. Um, if they haven't traded the dog yet, then they're clearly waiting for a higher level operative to come in. So somebody who might be a little nastier. So that's one issue. The actual facility itself is very very rein very very reinfor. I'm getting sorry, I'm getting echo. Um, is very very reinforced against physical assault uh, because they do provide food and other services there they are it is built to resist people kind of coming in and trying to take over it is much less resilient to high-end cyber attacks uh, or security fuck fuck with there's probably there's probably low-level um, street garbage hackers and it's probably can deal with those, but people like you, probably less so. Does that seem reasonable? Okay. Um, so you can get a sense of that. What what kind of uh, p place would be good for you know uh, if you wanted to do a uh, uh, a login injection to get into the system, um, where you would do that? What kinds of of things they might have on on site? Um, uh, ways that you could could manipulate the physical security via those cyber systems. Cool. Cool. And so f from that, I'm assuming then. Or, well, I guess I I don't know, but it's not likely that the dog is there right now. That's just where they're going to do. Not the swap. not not like you're there, but it's probably where they're going to do the swap. So the dog is if they haven't made the swap yet, which we're assuming here. Uh, then it's probably at the Shimpachi block, but you know, depending on what's going on, they may take it over to uh, there, and they may have actually taken it over there just to put it in there for safekeeping. You're not sure. All right. Gotcha. Okay. Um, who's next?
Seeing, seeing, hearing no one say next, I'm going to take a five minute break here to grab a bottle of water. Is that cool with everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I get next up to that because I was talking into a muted microphone, but okay. get your water. Sean. Okay. I'm going to grab my water. <laughs> I think we've about run this clock up as much as I want to. No, I love this. I love this. I want to do some more. Uh, well, you'll get a chance. Uh, I'm going to run up and get me some of the Irish water of life. Libations. So what do you think, Scott and Ben? We... Uh, are we all set, or are we all, or are we all doomed? Um, I don't know. I was still trying to think uh, how we're going to, or how we want to do it. Uh, well, it seems like we have two choices. We can either, A, crash, crash the trade-off when everybody's going to be exposed and everybody's going to be armed, or B, try and hustle in there and hit it before the exchange happens, uh, where we're hitting a, a fortified position, but not, but almost with more of an element of surprise. Am I missing anything? Nope. So. I guess we got we got to find out if the dog's been. Transferred or not, if it's still. With the gang, or if it's actually in the, the struggle. Well, if if it's not in the hands of the gang, well, the gang, the gang are the people that have it currently, right? Yes. So, or as far as we can tell. Uh, I I don't know. I'm almost thinking that uh, might make more sense if the. Uh, Chips, uh, whatever he calls them, monkey boy things, goes and wreaks some havoc on that, uh, them there, Shimpati guys. And we go in and. We gotta find out where the dog is first. That's, I think that's our primary. Right. Uh, primary objective. And then go from there. I mean, because if it's in the, with the gang. And you know, killing the gang people and and uh, take taking it is good. Uh, mm -hmm. They're they're, they're going to be all that's going to be all physical. Up, they're not going. They don't have any cybersecurity or any of that uh, stuff. But if it's already been transferred to the um, to the other people to the to the uh, base camp, then we're going to have to uh, do some cyber ops to, to get us in, in there. Okay. Okay. So, Matt, let's come to you. All right. So, uh, so we're, we're supposed to we're supposed to extract the... Uh, oh, sorry. Is that something? Or is no. it just feedback? I think it's just feedback. feedback. All right. Um, so, we're supposed to extract this dog... And it's a crazy killer dog with advanced intelligence. Yeah. And we're not supposed to hurt it. That's true. So we are going to need some equipment to do this with. Um, Luckily, Ben has already looked into that. Oh, did he? I missed that. Yeah. He, one of the things, the first things that he did is he actually has a move to generate himself a bunch of gear. Um, right. And so he actually generated three gear points. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got the tech to knock out the dog. Uh, so right, it'll go, be go, easier go. to transport. <clears throat> dog cage. In that case, then. Um, what don't we know yet that we want to know? We don't know where the dog currently where, is. If where the dog is. Has happened to. And where the meeting is, right? Well, you know where the meeting is. <clears throat> I, that's what I investigated. Oh. It's going to be at this um, training, Christ, Catholic training that's right, camp. That's right. Yep. <clears throat> and then uh, Scott looked at the security of that, and he said that it's pretty physically uh, secure, but not so cyber secure. 
So you uh, <coughs> want to do uh, research to see if you can track down exactly where the the dog is now. I think where the dog is now, and how do I want to approach that? Is it research, or is there anything else we could convincingly do with that? Or like um, when the meeting is going to happen yeah. would be the uh, two. <clears throat> research would be where where would I find the dog? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I'll do research again. Okay. I'll probably fuck up again. I hope you do. <laughs> I kind of do too, actually. Oh I no! Don't. What is with you guys? You're going to save all your fuck-ups for the fighting. Uh, <laughs> that sucks. I actually want the experience from all this shit, but um, I, I don't have that. So then, um, yeah, where would I find the dog? So uh, you will, will kind of uh, uh, have your umpties maybe, uh, 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 you know, drop some, some drop sensors, you know, and do some, you know, people do an observation. You get, you know... Uh, quick hack feeds and things um, and you are pretty certain that the dog is uh, actually still uh, in the Chris Christie block uh, that it hasn't been transported uh, and uh, probably up in Shimpachi's like uh hive rooms up on the upper floors um just that seems to be the 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 logical thing and it would have made sense for them to move if they were worried about the security for the dog it would have made sense for them to move it on to uh the uh the in, immobiliary uh place but they haven't done that mm -hmm. so what's your follow-up oh and don't forget to mark intel Yep, so I got intel, and then the follow-up, as I guess I like to sound like kind of uh, talking to starstruck local umpty heads via like private chat channels and shit that are getting me this information. Um, so then my follow-up would be... Uh, who or what is the dog most valuable to? Well, this is very interesting to you um, because you're kind of looking at this. You're running the the the, the you know the the numbers. You're doing the the, the psycho uh, psycho linguistic running. You've got your mimetic recruiters. Kind of, he's running the secondary thing. Um, you think that um, you're not even sure what Arnvid's current state is. Um, uh, you probably think that Chimpachi has a hold of the dog and is has not turned it over to Immobilare because he plans to get something more out of this. Does that seem like a reasonable answer? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's clearly kind of change the game a little there. I like that. That's proactive, <laughs> paradigm-shattering thinking. All right. More research, or do you guys have a plan? Well, are we going... Okay, first off, uh, just a quick poll. Are we crashing the meeting or are we taking it from the gang um well there might not be a meeting if if what um uh chip chip found out is is true or it might be a meeting with a totally different uh purpose purpose so i think our best bet is to take the dog now uh before an unknown party comes into play that we don't know anything. Uh, and about. do do we know where they're? We found. I mean, Chip found out where they were keeping the dog definitively. Correct. Yeah. Yes. All right. Then let me get my spurs on. Let's go. Um, I could use my my thing to get us in. Um. 
What, can't you just walk in? No, no, it's a prison. Well, they just let me walk in. Once. I know. We're not as intimidating as you are. All right, fine. Um, uh, basically, get in as basically corporate contractors that are that are offering uh, uh, grunt work for some lo- uh, uh, some locals, uh, and I can use that uh, uh, to get us get us out. Uh, you said you talked to uh, Dixie. Give us yeah. some, uh, uh, to set up, uh, and then. Uh, I guess we're going to have, I, uh, I mean, basically we, then we need someone to assess, uh, how, e- how easy it's going to be to get into the, the upper floors of this, uh, uh, place. That's, I guess not, not me part of the plan, uh, plan. I don't think they're going to have a whole lot of, uh, Cybersecurity there, uh, but they're going to have probably a lot of gang members. So we need a way to distract those, pull some of those guys off, so we can get in and get the dog and get out. Well, what about uh, Chip? There's a uh, crew that he uses that uh, rattle. Uh, I, I can get easily ten absolutely rabid creeps total half animal part party machine fudge monsters guarantee 10 now son I don't that, understand half what you say you can get 10 guys that uh, doesn't surprise me um all right. but beyond that I've got um what we call the peripherally influenced I, I the can what? the peripherally influenced. You know, they're kind of they're not quite fudge apes, but they're grotesque umpties. Um, and I, I I have this blank look. I I look to trace for ex, uh, for translation. He could get some additional guys. <laughs> uh. And they're, they're they might not be willing to get as just sick with the violence, but they can gum up the works a little bit. Uh, all right. I, I kind of have this quizzical look at, like, at Trace to see if he's going to translate anything else, and when he doesn't say anything, I look back. They might not be uh, interested in uh, killing people, but maybe they can do some other kind of distraction. Huh. All right. That sounds like a decent plan. Uh, by, by the way, guys, um... If this is gonna get that sick, I'm gonna need you to sign these release forms because this might this might be broadcast. I don't wish to appear on on any sort of a recording device. Okay, uh, I'll just uh, well, he said it without your permission. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, uh, I didn't say nothing. Um. Um, all right, so let's head in there then, right? We ready unless, to go? Unless anyone has, uh, anything else that they can think of to add to the, um, uh, add to the plan. I, I don't want to wind up the clocks anymore, personally. So that sounds like you've got a plan, right? But how wound up is the yep. clock? I kind of... I might just want to take a move just to fuck with the clock some more. (laughs) (laughs) That's fine. You just have to think of an actual reason to do it. I know. I thought actually it's not even that bad. Okay. Um, Do we have anything else we want to do, though? Uh... Well, if we don't get to this soon, it won't be happening tonight. And then you'll have your friend from International Mobile Ari back. Actually, he's not going to be next week. Go, 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 go. go. (laughs) (laughs) There's only a chance that he's going to be here next week. But regardless, all right. um, So you guys have a plan. So uh, everybody marks experience. Woo! Okay. Um, Ding! Did did you get a move, Matt? 
I got to 10, yep. Okay, well, let's have you take that before we move on. Oh, shit. Is this um, your second level? Yes, it is. Your second level up? How are you clearing that? Because I'm experienced you didn't see how much fuck up they had last time, Fabian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everyone almost died, as I said. That which doesn't kill you apparently makes you level. So having played another one of these games, I am very cognizant of doing all the stuff that will let me mark experience every time. Um, okay. So ben, uh, ben, ben smashed a car out of a garage unconscious, and it just kind of sent it flying out with him in it, trying to escape from the situation. <laughs> I can take plus one to an ability, right? Is my advance? I think so. Um, take a I look at your, your things. Yes. Let's see. Where's my character? She uh, pusher advances are. Yep, I can take a plus one edge. So I'm going to do that. Okay. That's a good call. You guys are doing remarkably well for the 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 stuff. Because I will tell you, when I played this. We got the clock up to 2300 in no time flat. <laughs> um, all right. Um, Scott. Yes. Uh, uh, there's a, a, a scene there um, with you guys coming in as corporate uh, people. Um, uh, and uh, are you smuggling in equipment? Are you smuggling in van? What, what is the, the, the thing here? Um, cause I'm going to say, if you just want to get you guys in with base equipment, not a problem. Uh, if you want to get in with, uh, like, uh, the, the, the drones carried in some kind of thing, then that's going to be a little more complicated. Oh, we need the bear on the twink. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I yeah. had to look. I had to look up j the gerbil gear reference. Uh, oh no, baby! So, baby, in why'd you <laughs> yeah. do that to yourself? <laughs> I know. It, it, well, yeah, I'm scarred for life. But I'm surprised you say twink and not gerbil, since it's the smaller drone. Um, He's yeah, I reason. Wanted... Baby, in <laughs> whatever you do, don't Google twink, please. Please don't Google twink, baby. In it's not twinky. No, no, don't no. Just. Don't do it, and, and and don't Google bear in any relation to that word either. Okay. <laughs> stay, stay golden, Fabian. <laughs> Done. Okay, See, got it. Twink to me means a totally different thing. So, yeah, uh, yeah, you're thinking EverQuest. Yes. Um, yeah. What is it? Oh, that's right. That's like a. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, I do. I don't want. Yeah, I want Drake's drones uh, uh, to come in. And our other equipment basically will be like, uh, you know, the corporate project will be like, uh, uh, you know, capturing the street dogs on the sh streets to use oh. its shelters for food or something like, you know. Are you going to a like a contact that you know there that'll that'll get all this stuff in for you? Um, let's see. What is what is contact based on? That's style. You get, you get to name them. You got a guy there. You got a guy. You got a guy. Oh, boy, my styles. Let's see. What are my other options? Hmm. So, roll on, mechanical question. Sure. You pretty much create a contact anytime you've, you, you speak to someone you've not spoken to before, right? Once per session, you get to declare a contact, yeah. I was saying, but like, but like, I, but I didn't declare one, but I spoke to uh, what's his nuts earlier that we had not encountered yet. That was like creating a contact, right? Or no? What's his nuts? Who is what's his nuts? The uh, uh, the guy I I spoke with early in the game about the uh, the, client? About the mission. The client? No, yeah. that's just a client. Yeah. Okay, no, so, I, so I, st I still have when, my. When you need to call in a favor from somebody. You or when I tried to get the gear. Yeah, you describe uh, the contact and say why the contact owes you a favor, or why you owe them a favor, and then we get that onto the list. Okay, so it's it's one that's only player created. If like the narrative brings you to a new contact, that doesn't count for this. Yeah. All right. Uh. So yeah, I guess if that's the 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 other option, Scott is a little more chancy, um, but is your thing essentially if you want to hack into the uh, 
the the system to try and change the manifest to let you guys in um, that's going to be a, a login and a manipulate systems um. they probably have some ice there but uh, you go for that let's see Manipulate systems. Oh, that's my better. That's your thing. My thing. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll do the login. Okay, let's have you roll with your login, Synth. Terrible. Uh, no. So, uh, you are in, Scott, um, but uh, you will activate uh, a couple of pieces of ice that come up on you. Um, they, they're pretty serious about keeping this place locked down, um, and essentially you've got uh, two pieces of ice heading your way. Um, and let me tell you what what the, the the consequences are of these these two pieces, and you can decide what you want to deal with first. Okay. Okay. Does that seem good? Let me get to that section of the book. Um, so right now, do, 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 do. Contents, games. Come on, there's that section of the matrix. Um, okay. Um, so right now you've got a piece uh, uh, of blue ice uh, and you've got a piece of red ice moving on you right now. Um, blue ice is the, the lesser of the two um, and essentially it's, it's, a, it's a basic location, alarm, uh, trying to sever your connection thing. Um, red ice does the same thing, but it also moves to damage you. Um, do you want to deal with? Do you want to deal with one of those, or do you just want to jack jack out? I'll deal with the red uh, uh, ice if I can. Okay. Um, so uh, what's going to happen is you're going to try to melt the ice, um, and, uh, and that's going to be with edge. And do you have some stuff to give you bonuses on that? Um. No. No. No, I don't have any ice melting stuff right now. Okay, uh, so go ahead and roll edge. So edge, interesting. And another thing to buy up. Oh yeah. So, uh, Scott, um, this is a real base system, and you've 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 logged into it, but it's kind of one of those corporate data network things. Um, everything's kind of done in, in sharp edges and numbers, and uh, you know you will see this this red ice uh, 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 come come in at you, and it starts. Um, a lot of the times they use these real basic sort of uh, uh, superhero style looking uh, avatars here, and so essentially this figure just starts blasting at you with the. Uh, the algorithms to, to overwhelm your system and what does it look like when you disable that? Um, uh, probably um, oh let's see probably have a um, uh, you know counter it with sort of uh, a fiery uh, uh, super Superhero, probably like uh, uh, from the old thing, the Fire Lord, the Herald of Galactus, um, uh, uh, swoops in with his staff and sort of uh, uh, incinerates the the ice, melts melts it away. And and you will do that and and hit it even as you see the second piece of ice come up. Um, I mean, it's more like uh, like. Uh, 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 a little robot buoy, and it does a scan on you and uh, essentially raises uh, an alarm. 
um, and he's going to raise the alert level on the mission clock. Um, uh, so, uh, uh, so imagine that probably what's happening here is alerts going up, and that's going to trigger off other people being nervous about what's going on. Um, you got to deal with this so it doesn't do anything further, like like cut your connection off or run a full trace on you. Okay. So melt ice again. I have still. Uh, I do have some stealth. Do you want to try uh, just to evade it? Yes. Okay. Uh, then uh, if you're just going to go to evade it, then that's that's a way. Since you melt ice is when you attempt to evade, destroy, or disable activated ice construct, roll edge. Uh, and this one, I would get my my boat. Uh, my bonus. Yep. Uh, plus. I have, yep. I have. I have two. I have both the the move that gives me a plus two to stealth and the program that gives me plus two to stealth. Yeah. Now let me make sure that that is uh, that does what I think it does. Um, oh so stealth actually is if they run a trace on you sorry oh okay. yeah essentially you've got stuff that they're not going to be able to trace you without like layering on traces on you right now okay um, um, so you just roll your standard edge for the melt ice, but if they start running traces, it's going to be a while before they, they lock you down. Okay. So nine. Nine. Um, so, uh, you will be able to, uh, get, uh, uh, that disabled, um, uh, but you're going to need to act fast because they've clearly called uh, for uh, 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 essentially a, a, a sec ops uh, um, it, admin to come in. So you've got uh, just a small amount of time to get this uh, manipulate systems thing done. Okay. Okay. Um, so you've got that neutralized. It's held in place. Um, and you go to, to, to change out the manifest. Roll synth. Yeah. Let's see. That's eight. Um, That's all you need is one hold, sir, to yep. get this locked. Um, and uh, then I'm going to need you to... Uh, now, you're not being damaged because they haven't gotten online yet, but you can essentially get out before uh, they call in the admin, okay? Yeah, because I'm a move, I actually get plus one more uh, more hold, so I'll, I'll use that to get out smoothly. Okay. Whew. So we cut to the scene with you guys rolling in. Um, you have like a corporate rental truck um, with uh, uh, Ben with your van in the back of the truck. Does that seem cool? Yeah. Okay. Um, and you got the drones in uh, in there. Um, and you oh, I call them Beauty and the Beast, by the way. Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Hopefully that will stick as a better nickname than the other one. <laughs> Not for Chip. <laughs> Chip's, Chip's his own story. Yeah. Um, so you guys will will roll through, and this place is is a mess. Uh, Chip, you've seen it just through the the video relays. Um, uh, same thing for you. Uh, uh, rake and trace here it's it's as soon as you get in there's a smell of kind of acrid chemicals and uh that, that just kind of uh it's hot summer um so you're getting that that smell of rotting garbage that that leaks across as you drive around you'll see the people at the the corners there's the the coughing, you know, from some places. You'll see people in kind of prayer groups uh, walking around, uh, you know, doing group chanting. Um, and then you'll see 
the uh, 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 the, the the Golden Kids, essentially uh, uh, the the sort of the top of the heap gangers that uh, can afford tanning beds uh, and gold chains, and uh, you see them on the street corners. Um, uh, you know, looks like they put all their uh, whatever money they could get into kind of illegal steroids and body mods. Um, and uh, they, as you drive by, there's a lot of, you fucking looking at me? Shouted at you as you drive by <laughs> kind of thing. Yes, and, I am. <laughs> uh, you know, guys, this, re- this reminds me of a joke. I was in the back seat of my car with a girl. And she asked me to kiss her where it smells funny. <laughs> so I drove her to New Jersey. But um bum um, and uh, th- there's a, there's a lot of of, of old built up uh, like uh, industrial areas here that have just collapsed. Um, uh, it looks like projects that have been started, like uh, like elevated sidewalks and things that have been let to let just to like end, you know, bridges to nowhere. Um, and uh, eventually, you will get to these giant, essentially settlement blocks. And uh, they are massive, uh, forty-story tall, big concrete rectangles. Uh, they have little reinforced windows in each one of the units. Um, and uh, uh, when you guys roll up uh, and kind of get under the protection of Dixie's gang, because there are people like trying to rip stuff off of the van, even as you guys are driving. Um, but she'll get you rolled into uh, a like parking garage, um, and the smell of urine here is unbelievable. Uh, there's probably crystallized saltpeter on the walls here uh, from it, um, and uh, you guys can unload your stuff. And uh, Dixie's people uh, are there, and. Sure. They will give you directions to the elevator that tell you who to talk to, what you're supposed to say to them so they, they know not to fuck with you guys. Um, so we'll assume you guys are can, can get those drones on the ground level. Um, you guys are all in. Is, is everybody, I assume, is on site, right? Yep. yep. Yeah. I don't want to be, yes. And yet, here you are. Um well- do I do this? These people. So you guys are on site. What's the next step? Um, hmm. So I think uh, Rake should, <coughs> Trace should uh, try to hack in <coughs> while we're here um, through our through uh, his uh, programs first. Okay, I'm not sure if there's anything for him to. Hack in too, but um, essentially, you want to. Uh, he could conceivably try to look at what's left of the building's cameras. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, is it, is this Dixie's building, or is this? Are, are we? Have, have we You're in to... Dixie's building. You're not in the other building. Okay. Um. Yeah. Probably. Uh. Let's do that just in case she turns on us maybe we'll get a little f- extra warning see, see if it's even possible if the cameras even still work okay um let's have you roll edge for assess on this it looks like uh so that's nice so you've got uh one hold what's the question you have here um Are the, can I use uh, with uh, oh the assess? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> oh, geez, so many good questions. I know. Look at all those. You could spend what? intel. You could spend intel and bump your assess up. To get three hold. Um, and that would give me more questions, or yep. 
<clears throat> well, let's save that. The, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, just what do I notice in dis- despite an effort to conceal it? Maybe she's trying to screw us and and hide it in some way. Yeah, mostly that. What 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 cameras are functioning? Uh, she does have on you guys. Like she wants to know what the deal is. Um. So she's got somebody upstairs with, you know, a really shitty computer and, you know, a couple of monitors. And they they have put most of the working cameras on your guys' area and on the way down and on the garage because they want to know, okay, yeah, I'm cool that they're going to be taking on Shimpachi, but what's the deal here? So she's, she's, she's curious. Sound good? Okay, I'll let her subtly let everyone know that we're being mo- monitored, so we don't dis- discuss any uh, plans like out in the open. We go into a tr- the truck or something if we okay. need to. So I'm going to assume that you guys are taking uh, proper opsec procedure. So we'll, we'll assume that you guys can talk and you've got that covered. Okay. All right. Okay. And I can jam if the need arises. So. Is there, like, ventilation here, or do I need to shoot some holes in the walls so we can actually breathe? Uh, well, you could probably bust out the, the windows. Mm. All right, I do that. Okay. It takes a couple punches because these are seriously reinforced, but for you, not a fucking problem. So um, you will, will uh, get what is the slightly cleaner New Jersey air. Um, versus <laughs> versus the one that's sort of trapped inside this building. Okay, that's that's one of that's a very big concern of mine right now. Okay, uh, so what's the next step, uh, uh, baby daddy? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's an interesting name. So, um, are we ready? Should I? Let's go. Should I pull the ripcord on my fudge beasts? Mm. Sure. Well, All right, we so we we'll want to get in position first. First, I guess it depends on how long it takes your front beasts. It will take them a little while to get in position. They they don't move that fast. Yeah, they're kind of corpulent, aren't they? And they have the the ten hardcore ones have the mobile advantage <laughs> that they because do. they have mobility scooters. Oh. That's just wrong. <laughs> um, so then, yeah, Segway. I would. Segway. <laughs> I would then be relaying a message for like my loyal core to get into place for an attack, and then I, I guess my plan is then to get footage of that as we're moving into our, um, you know, our course of action. Mm-hmm. Against the building where we're um, going to be moving to, um, such that I can broadcast that and mobilize the broader, more loosely connected network of umpties to kind of come out, obstruct streets, start riots, you know, and just create chaos and kind of uh, give us cover and impede response. All right. That seems to me like you are mixing it up. Because you want these dudes to seize locations and create create issues, right? Yeah. Now, does your gang have a rating of any kind? Um, for my, um, what is it? My what was the distinction of it? one is uh one is believers and the other is uh inner circle. For my inner circle, they are well armed and mobile. Okay. Um, so, uh, what's your... What, I think Well Arm gives them a bonus to whatever the... I think Mix It Up is the fighting score, right? Yep. Yep, so go ahead and, and uh, make that roll then. All right, and I get to use theirs, not mine, is what yep. we're saying, I think? Yep, right? the Well Arm, yeah. All right, so, roll a... I keep wanting to make it a d20. <laughs> um... So you get a nine. Now, uh, uh, you could actually, if you wanted to, uh, uh, 
push that up with Intel, get a 10, and achieve your objective cleanly and get your second tier guys in, no problem. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, so describe to me what that looks like as you guys are, uh, 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 you know, getting into position, Matt. All right, so as we're getting into position, um, there is the kind of the rumbling of these mobility scooters as these weaving, clearly intoxicated, just apes of men wearing fur vests and leather trousers. <laughs> they have like Harley <laughs> engines on these mobility scooters, so they, oh, yeah. oh, they they have giant engines and they have like machine guns mounted on them. Um, and they are just these are your thugs. Yeah, these these are just rolling towards the Shimpachi facility, and at the same time, over whatever popular social media channels are going on, you know, hey guys, Daddy Bye Bye here. Remember, like my page, subscribe on YouTube, leave a leave a message and comments on my web zone, and I'll send you a pizza roll. Um, and uh, he is using his sim senses to kind of broadcast what he sees of this going in. This is very exciting to any of like the fans, like anybody that's in the area that belongs to this larger network of believers. They want to get out here and see this and they want to F some stuff up. And, and right away you'll start getting uh, hashtag block war uh, starting up uh, uh, across this zone on whatever minor feeds they've got, and your guys are rolling in. There's probably a shot of them knocking down uh, the the Christie statue and running it over. Okay, <laughs> big speed bump of that, and uh, um, uh, it's probably the shot of him on the beach. Um, anyway, uh, and uh, they are yeah, they are 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 coming in. Uh, so p- noise, chaos. Uh, uh, definitely, you have seized their attention. Um, what uh, about you guys? How are you getting in? What's going in? What what's what's happening? Vehicles, drones, what, walking, running. What's what's the deal? Who's going? Who's going? What for the three of you guys? Now, is this van that we're in armored at all? So that's Ben's van, and Ben, what are the traits on your van? Uh, the traits on my van are, um, <clears throat> it's a, well, it's a workhorse and it's cramped. It's a weakness and strength is workhorse. <clears throat> so it, it, it's not, it, it, it can, uh, keep going over rough terrain and all that stuff, but, uh, it is not armored. Yeah. Uh, well, it's I not guess a tank. we better <laughs> get off, get out of this here wagon and, and sh- go strolling and do what we got to do, right? Let's get this done. <clears throat> so so what does that look like? Um, is it just you going in on foot? Um, I would say we all... I'll, I'll probably... Uh, um, uh, go in, we use... Uh, uh, Was well, there a parking uh, garage in this? In this building that in, we're assaulting, um, yeah, there probably is probably uh, like this one, probably kind of a barricaded underground thing. We're uh, not at the meeting zone. We're just we're just uh, no. With, we're at the gangland place. You're, you're they... moving from Dixie's building to yeah. Shimpachi's building. The, so the, the Shaquille block is attacking the Christian. To the training block. camp, right? We're going to the Catholic training camp. Nope. No. 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 no, no. Oh, That's not where the dog is. Right, we're, 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 we're trying to short circuit that. Uh, gotcha, I see. <clears throat> okay. So, um, how about we go in through the, uh, so we don't have to, so we don't have to cross the open ground where the engines can get us. Let's go in through that, uh, their underground tunnel thing where they park their horses and we, uh, well, come up that way. you still go over ground to get to there. Oh, okay, they're not, well. They're not, they're not connected. I see. Well. Then we drive there, right? Yeah, we drive. We we drive there, park in their parking uh, garage if we can get in. Um, so you can drive through the battle, uh, smash through their barricades to get into their parking garage. That's what I'm hearing, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. So, 
Um, who is driving the van? Me. Okay. <sighs> um, ben, can I please have you roll? Um, let's see. Uh, let me check here. One thing real quick. Um, Did I hear we're smashing my van through a fence or something like that? What? <clears throat> through some barriers yeah. into a, a parking garage, yes. That That's not happening. <clears throat> my van doesn't do that. <laughs> okay, then well, then what is uh, happening? Well, <clears throat> we're we're currently. I thought. Wait, you said my. Did you say my van was in a bigger truck or something like that at first? I that's thought the, I heard yeah, that, that's how we got need, it in. Yeah. The, the, oh, okay. The truck you need gotcha. to, to have to get out of here. So we're trying to get to. Um, uh, we're 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 at Dixie's camp. And we're trying to get the Shimpachi's camp, right? And their so roads. So when you say camp, we're talking about or, a forty-story uh, concrete block buildings. Okay, two. There's two forty four story concrete block buildings separated by roads with parking lots. Is that? Nope. It's separated by <coughs> roads and rubble, and each of them has an underground parking garage. And gang fighting going on. And gang fighting going on. I see. Um, okay. And how far? What's the distance between these two buildings? Uh, maybe 150. 200 yards okay <clears throat> uh and there are barriers that we need i mean my van can't smash through barriers i can drive around things if the roads but i mean <clears throat> i can shoot out the barriers okay that sounds like a, okay that sounds like a plan <clears throat> all right so what i'm hearing now and let me just make sure i've got this i don't want to make too many assumptions here um that you are driving through the war zone with this, uh, with your van, and when you get up to the parking garage of the building you're, you want to get into, that you are uh, using uh, uh, Fabian's breach weapon to uh, to blow it open, right, and get in. Yeah. Okay, that seems great. So Ben, and I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send Beauty in front of us to uh, to scout. <clears throat> so we'll assume that Beauty is out in the area. Um, if you want to do something with her at some point, to tell me about that. Uh, but right now, we're worrying about you driving, right? Yeah. Let's have you roll cool. <clears throat> Drive like the wind. Okay. Um, so that's a a nine. Yeah. Uh, um. And it, I'll spend an intel, I guess, to make that a success. Okay. So. Like you've done some some the aerial scouting to, to to get yourself the right path here. So mark off the intel. Um, yep. You'll you'll drive between the <clears> rubble. <throat> you've you've mapped that out. There's um, uh, there are explosions going on. These umpties are fighting. There there are gang members that have busted out windows on the uh, uh, the Chris Christie residential block, and they are firing down. Um, and then you can see in the distance that the other blocks are also, you know, as soon as this breaks out, that there are more people coming and fighting. Some of Dixie's people are out, you know, also uh, uh, attacking. And you will drive up, and you have to go down this ramp to essentially this, this reinforced barrier that they've got for the park, underground parking garage. And Fabian, you're going to blow it up? I am. But I did want to inter inter insert in here while all this is going on. I've got my, I'm like half out the window yelling, yee-haw! I've got my, got a red bandana over my mouth, you know, like, like, ah! that, that seems perfectly fine. Fabian, uh, you're going to use violence to blow open this thing. So roll, mix it up, roll meat. Okay. Um, because of my enhanced reflexes, uh, and because uh, I'm using like pinpoint targeting as well, I'm allowed to use sense for that with a plus one for the mix, uh, plus one going forward. Uh, and that plus one going forward is from the synthetic nerves. The synthetic nerves. Um, so essentially, despite everything is like in slow motion for me, I've got time to, to pick out targets and just pinpoint, pinpoint my targets. Okay. Um, and I can roll synth for it because of 
um, my neural interface and targeting. Okay, that seems uh, fair to me. It's it's not a thing I would normally assume would require reaction time, but let's uh, let's go ahead and have you roll that then. Did that go through? Yep. Yeah. Uh, so All that's right. a ten. Uh, so you will blow open those doors. What does it look like when that gets blown open? <laughs> well, it's crazy. I mean, there's just a uh, there's this cloud of smoke as my uh, as the gun just keeps going off again and again and again, faster than uh, faster than it almost sounds like semi-auto as I walk a trail of bullets across the barriers and they're just splintering apart as each round breaches them and explodes okay there's that slow motion sam peckinpah thing as all the, the debris goes flying everywhere um scott what are you doing while this is going on um uh, i am uh basically getting ready um in the uh, in the van to basically hunt for the uh the wi-fi or whatever uh, since I'm assuming that uh, the camera system is probably somewhat similar amongst these concrete blocks, I'm getting ready to uh, to try to hack into the, the building security as soon as we're inside. Absolutely. Go ahead and roll log in. Uh, that is... What, that's synth? Synth is log in. Uh, so... Seven, nine, uh, I can sp oh, spend an intel. Spend an intel, you're in clean. Uh, clean, and I'll try to take, oh, what was it, manipulate their sy systems, take control of the cameras, basically. Okay, um, uh, so let's follow, since, since this is all kind of happening fast, we'll have you do the second part of the move, and then I'm going to move on to somebody else. Sound good? Sounds good. Okay, uh, let's have you roll that synth then for the manipulate systems. You got a hold of it. You got in. Um, you know they've got some interconnected boxes and, and cameras and things. And let's have you roll that. Okay, so I'm looking at my my move, my console cowboy. The when you connect to a circ secure system, roll mind. Uh, uh, I can get hold for that. Is that is that coming to play now? Uh, uh, let me look at how that runs there with that. That's a good question. Let's look. That's Hunter. Yeah, essentially, uh, that, that allows you to kind of uh, uh, go around... Before we even get to sort of the compromise security and things, you can uh, do that at the, the start. So go ahead and roll that. It's free and I don't... It doesn't... So eight. Eight. So one... Okay. So you get one hold on that. Okay. And I get one for my uh, lockdown when I, uh, after I log in. So now I will try to... Um, manipulate the system to get control of the camera. Okay, sounds good. Roll it. That's Henderson, right? Yep. Um, I guess. So. Uh, so six plus one is seven. Plus two is uh, nine, and I'll use one of the hold to bring it up uh, to ten. Okay. Uh, so right now you've got three hold over the camera systems. Um, uh, I'll come back and give you, we'll have you spend some of that to grab some info on that. Does that sound good? Okay. Okay. Yep. So you guys have busted into this, this underground parking garage. I mean, there are, there's junk and rubble down here. Uh, sure. You've brought this thing to a stop um, and you've got, uh, uh, you, you are assuming... Sure. That uh, uh, Shimpachi is, uh, you know, in his uh, den. Um, so you are on basement floor two, um, and his thing is up on the 40th floor. So how do you guys want to do this? Uh, are the stairs here secure? I'm asking Trace. 
I mean, are, is the elevator secure, or can you jack the elevator? I can jack the uh, um, elevator, yes. Elevator oh. is non-functional. Uh. As, as, as Everybody, as, mark experience point, please. <laughs> as in it's just old, decrepit, doesn't work, or is it... As in we're in big trouble. As in it's it's something has been done to it, so it you go to, to get it and it's not on, Scott. Uh, we're flabucked. Oh, <clears throat> uh, why? We just walk, right? That's what I that's why I say to you, why don't we just walk? That's forty uh, stairs. Forty that's flights of stairs? Yeah. That's what I do every morning for exercise. Well, let's see if Ray can fix it. He's a tech. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, um, see if I can fix this elevator. <clears throat> okay. Um, you will get in to, to take a look at this. Uh, let's go ahead and have you roll. Um, seems appropriate either mind or synth for me. I right, mind, I guess. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so Four, the, the, good, oh, go ahead. the the good news is if you don't spend intel you get tomorrow's <sighs> experience. All, All right. right. Intel do you have? Just one. <clears throat> That's not going to do it. So uh But you have gear too. I do have a gear. Was that going to help? <clears throat> I'll, I'll, if you tell me what it is in this situation that, that's going to do it. All right. So when I um, <clears throat> uh, when I was doing some early uh, preparation for this uh, and I found that we were going to go in, I had prepared for this um, uh, mission. Um, <clears throat> the uh, he had uh, found uh, amongst his stuff. Uh, um, a thing to be able to interface that happened to interface with uh, the, the the machines that is a uh, uh, Dudley Gear 2000, which happens to be what this is in here. <clears throat> so uh, he's able to um, hook up, uh, whips out this thing from his backpack, and uh, he's, he's he's frantically trying to uh, get this thing to work <clears throat> with interfacing this this thing. You get it, um, and there'll be that that sound, that grinding as the elevator comes open. You will realize, though, as you're doing this, Rake, that, yes, this elevator is going to work, and you're going to be able to take it up to the 40th floor, but it's because of the way that it's broken, it is not going to be able to come back down. Well, going down is much easier. Mm -hmm. You guys need some more exercise. You guys going up? Yeah. Okay, uh, so it's the four of you plus the drone, right? Plus uh, Beast, yeah. <clears throat> okay, and what are the, what are the tags on Beast? Um, tags on Beast are I gotta bring up my character. He it's uh, rugged, armed, uh, obvious, uh, thermographic sensors, and it's got a gun. <clears throat> it's large and tracked. Large and tracked. So this drone tank rolls into the elevator with you guys, okay? Leaving. I let it go in first. Okay. okay. There is almost no room once you guys roll into this thing. Um, it's like, like we need to walk or No, like we you guys have to, 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 to climb in around it for this elevator to go. <sighs> All right. Okay. And you guys will get in, and the uh, the doors will shut. And there is that first, that bit of grinding sound when the elevator starts to go up. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe how fucking heavy this is. I start to turn green. Okay. Um, I checked the, check the, the panel. Are we over the weight limit? Yeah, way over the weight limit. Um but then there is that thing where this has a sort of uh, a backup sort of maglev 
uh, uh, emergency thing, and that will kick in, and this fucking elevator fires like a goddamn bullet <laughs> up this <laughs> shaft. Um, and the 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 inner part of this elevator shaft is kind of irregular from years of things, so. As you're flying up, there are sparks and the panels are bursting off and like metal is cutting through. You guys are ducking as this thing goes up and then it slams at the top. Slams and, and bear beasts are even lifts up for a second and then drops back down and it kind of shakes. And you're like, guys are shaking you here. Ding! And the door <laughs> begins to open. <laughs> That's great. Um... With my wired reflexes, I jump out with uh, draw, jump out, and start uh, covering anything. Roll mix it up anything. for the gang members who are about to fire onto this area, Fabian. Awesome. And uh, I'm assuming none of them have synth reflexes. Is that correct? You're going first, dude. Okay. Butter, so you're getting that plus one uh, to, right. to the mix it up, and you let loose. Uh, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So, what does that look like? There are a bunch of these gang members there. They are 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 uh, you know, they've 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 heard noise. They heard this thing. They've run over this area. What does that look like? Um. So essentially, for from Ringo's perspective, he like draws a bead on them and just like starts popping off headshots like perfect like dead center boom 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 oh yeah and, and they there just start is falling blood and gore and brain matter everywhere from these guys and they just go go sailing back slow motion um so uh i think the next person we need to worry about what they're doing now that you've leapt out of the elevator is a you rake what are you doing so what the, the elevator doors, you said, just start to open. What they, do we see? Well, they, they flew open. There were gang members out there. Uh, Ringo, like a fucking blur, like lightning with his uh, you know synthetic reflexes that he just got, leaps out into that group of like eight guys and it blows all of their heads off. I'm going to see if I can see the dog anywhere. Is there um, just... just Taking awesome. my surroundings that, that carefully. That seems like a, a perfect see. thing uh, for you to do. Um, why don't you go ahead and roll uh, uh, your assess with uh, uh, edge, essentially, as you use your drone to uh, uh, check around the area. Mm -hmm. I guess that's um, beauty's uh, work. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so <laughs> you will badly. <laughs> You will run it around the area, and you will catch that there is a firefight going on in another part of this thing. Hmm. Um, and you don't get a particularly good look at it, but it looks like there's another group battling with some of these gang members in another section of this. Um, you can see, like, there's some windows out, like maybe some people rappelled down in, um, and it looks like there's another group... Maybe they're attacking uh, the uh, Shimpachi gang. Maybe they're here to grab something. Uh, There's another group there, I say. <clears throat> you convey the information to the okay. other guys. All right. What are you doing, Daddy? Well, if I have an indication of where that other group is, um, I would like to scramble off in that direction. Okay. Because we should probably kill them. All right. Matt, you will go moving in. You've got a kind of a clear path. You've got to watch your feet, though, uh, because of all the gore from uh, uh, Ringo's attack. And you will kind of come around the corner, and you will see uh, there is a sort of squat battle suit um, with some actuator arms, and you will see a little cat head sticking out of it. Um, and you can see what looks like, uh, a small bear that looks cybered up. And the thing that's turning to look at you looks like an ape. It's got like kind of cyber armored on, 
um, and uh, it's turning to uh, engage you. It looks like it has like SWAT style, like uh, um, barrier breach equipment Rawr. on it. What do you want to do? As um, you face Furious George here. Furious <laughs> George. Okay, so what are my options, really? Um, I can... Um, Tell him to am, keep his damn dirty hands off you. I, I want to use Assess. All right. Um, so you kind of moving past, and you want to get a, a sense of this. So I'm going to have you roll Assess, and then I'm going to have you roll Act Under Pressure. All right. Uh, so, test first. What we got there? Not so good. Okay. So you get one question. All right. Uh, so we're the assess list. It is uh. And so I'm going to ask, how is Furious George vulnerable to me? Well, he's got a lot of cyber on him. If you can get Ben or Scott up on him, uh, I mean, he's not broadcasting anything, but if you can get either of them up on it, they might be able to uh, uh, hack him. Um, does that seem like a reasonable answer to that, that question? That does seem reasonable. Okay. Um, and uh, so that occurs to you, even as you see this uh, uh, ape bring up this riot shotgun and f shoot you in the fucking face. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What the fuck is In this? the face. You take three harm. Oh, oh my boy. God. Do you have armor? I don't have any armor, no. <laughs> okay. So he brings this up and... Boom! Fires it at you, and you will you will get hit because that was your uh, experience point generating fail on that last roll. Um, so, can I have you make the harm move? A harm move. Do I have a button for that? My character sheet. Yes, we do. Roll harm. And there's a modifier on that. Yeah. So uh, three. Because you took three harm. It'll be plus three. Yep. Jeez. So that's Pretty a good. nine. Um, uh, mm, so that's not bad. I'm going to say that uh, you go flying backwards from that, Daddy. Bye bye. Um, and uh, you go down a set of stairs. Okay, um, with that kind of tumbling crunch, it's very cinema verte for the people watching <laughs> you uh, as you go <laughs> rolling down them. Um, there's blood on the various octa lenses and things, but you are at the bottom of a, of a, the, the, the stairwell from this floor uh, oh, trying to so catch. Since your I'm breath. broadcasting sim senses, they even get to feel it. Oh yeah, they're like, <clears throat> oh, ah, ugh. and that's what it's like to get shot, you fucks. Remember, <laughs> like the page, subscribe on YouTube, and leave a comment. Scott, what are you doing? The nice thing uh, is, he's broadcasting this, so now you know where the, these things are. Uh, okay. Uh, since I know that Ben is better than probably at actually, since he's got drones and these are, um, I don't know, uh, these look like drones, not people in, in suits, or do these I look even... look like cybered up, uplifted animals. Um... Oh, which reminds me, everybody mark an experience point. Hey. Nice. Um, when you come across the Animal Liberation Front, mark XP. Okay, then I'm going to use uh, a combination of the, uh, the broadcast from Chip and as well as my cameras um, uh uh, to uh, basically get a, sort of a 360 view of these these three cybered up uh, individuals to feed to Ben to give him a basic bonus in disabling their their cyberware. 
Okay, let's have you roll help or interfere. Roll your links with Ben. Uh, let's see, five. Uh, uh, seven. Se uh, seven, so seven and nine. So I'm implicated in the results of the character's move and may expose myself, but I can give him a... a plus one. A plus one. So uh, I will I will do that as um, uh, I have to sort of uh, inch a little uh, uh, closer to the fight than I probably really will, really want to. Okay. Uh, Ringo, let's cut to you. Um, you've taken care of these gang members. You know there are probably some other ones down here. And now... Uh, you've been told that there are, because uh, you mentioned earlier that you don't get the video feed, um, right. so you're not getting any of that, but they've told you that there are, you know, three badass hombres. Oh, that's a call to action right there. Okay. Um, so I, I come down the hall, I stick my head around the corner and start shooting. Okay. So there are three of them. They mm -hmm. are, like you, a small gang each. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, which one do you want to work with? The ape Furious that just shot George. your buddy. Okay, all right. He hurt my hurt me hurt my crew, my posse. Okay. All right. In the literal term. <laughs> um. So. Oh, he thinks I'm a posse. <laughs> uh. So this is you, uh, mixing it up. You are essentially going to try and uh, deal the harm to this thing. So go ahead and. Uh, roll your mix it up. Okay. I need to know, does this thing have synthetic nerves? No, it does not. Okay. Uh, okay, so 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. Perfect. So, uh, what's the harm that you deal from that? Um, I have to look this up. Yep, uh, please do. It's armor piercing. Okay. It's big, so extra damage, so it's looking like... Hang on... Armor piercing, breach, big, linked. It looks like five. Breach. What is big? It means it adds plus one to the damage of it. Oh, is that a thing on your your thing? Custom I'm not, I'm not seeing on a. Oh, is it on a customized thing? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me check it real quick. Sorry, I just haven't had to, to, to run with this. I want to make sure I'm doing this right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, then big, okay. and then my uh, synth, my neural interface lets me add my synth to my damage. So three, four, five. Okay, and then that does it. Okay. Five armor piercing. All right. Um, so this thing is mortally wounded by that shot. Um, uh, Fabian, it staggers back, um, blows, blows a hole in it, um, you know, as, uh, uh, you know, uh, as it kind of, uh, falls backwards, uh, away, there's that, as it kind of goes to the ground and these other two fucking are on you. Okay. Um, I need Peter you. Is gonna be after you. Pardon? I said, Peter is going to be after you. Um, I need you to roll Act Under Pressure, Fabe. Okay. Uh, then that would be... That plus that. Uh, looks like 12. That is nice. Um, and I need you to roll Act Under Pressure against the second guy. Okay. You dodge out of the way of this fucking cat as it comes at you. Six. And then the other thing is up, like, out of the corner of your vision. Okay? Mm. I mean, you dodge that, the, the, the cat, like, nobody's business. And then the bear is on you. Um, okay. And you're going to take uh, two harm armor piercing. Okay, so I have armor, so that ignores the armor. Is that correct? Uh, it reduces your armor by two. Okay. Um, so now I roll a harm roll. So you've taken two harm. You mark that on your character sheet. 
Um, so. And you're going to roll with uh, a plus two. Um, okay, so I roll harm and add um, two. two plus my dermal plating, so two more, four. No, no, no. What's your dermal plating for? Is that your armor? No, that's under my armor. It's uh, it, The armor is armor, and dermal plating is negative two on harm rolls. Oh, excellent. So you're going to roll a flat harm roll then? So seven. Seven, okay. Um, so uh, he hits you, uh, and that gun, your gun, Fabian, goes flying down the stairwell. Okay. Um, essentially slams you back, and he wants to get that out of your hands, and boom, boom psh, and it is it is gone. Um, Penny! Um, yeah, it's your name, gun. He's knocked it out of your hands. There's still two of them. The ape is uh, uh, for dear life. Ben, what are you doing? So, <clears throat> I'm gonna turn uh, Beast towards the... Uh, I'm gonna have Beast... Go to town on the on these other guys. Okay, which one are you attacking? The the second group that. The, well, the the first group, Fabe, not killed the eight heads, and decapitated the eight dudes, right? Yep. So you want to take care of the other gang group? Is that what you want to do, or you want to take care yeah. of one of the animals? No, I want the other gang group. Okay, <clears throat> all right. Let's have you roll a uh, synth with that. <clears throat> okay. I should buy up my synth. Hmm. Oh my god. So the good news is you're going to mark a <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Us retarded. <clears throat> so what happens is is you kind of roll it out um and, and I'm I'm kind of imagining it like uh from Ghost in the Shell those little robot <laughs> things, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> um and you will roll it onto the gang's the gang uh, and you f kind of do that crossfire, uh, but you're, you're still trying to get a pattern, and uh, uh, you hit some stuff, and as you roll forward, uh, the floor goes out from underneath bear or beast, um, and cool. it, it will drop down, uh, it, down to the next floor. It kind of smashes and gets jammed up there. Okay. <clears throat> Um, let's come back to Matt. Are you back, Matt? Uh... <laughs> um, you see Ringo's gun go flying past you and go uh, sailing down the stairwell. Okay. Um, can I use what's the thing? Uh, can I use help to get that to him? Ooh, that's interesting. I think that's going to be act under pressure is what that's going to be. Okay. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus, buttocks. We always do so well on the prep. And yeah. Then... So the good news is you get to mark experience, man. Yep. The bad news is... I'm leveling like a motherfucker. I think what it is is you lean to grab it as it's falling down the stairwell and you catch it and then you realize that you've like leaned way far over and you will fall down to the next level of the stairs and oh. you're going to take one harm. Oh, God. And I have to roll the harm move too? Yeah. Uh, again. And that's just with the one time. I'm all fucked up. Um, Aren't you already at like 22 <laughs> I or am, something? I yes. <laughs> the the oh, thing is, actually, you roll your total harm. What's that? Oh, so it's, uh, oh, so we add... Four. Uh, yeah, three to that. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> um, that's not so good. So you get to choose one, Matt. You're out of action. Uh, you take uh, an additional harm. Uh, you lose the use of a piece of cyberware, um, or you lose a body part. Um, 
I am going to Sophie's be Sophie's choice. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take harm, I guess. Okay. This is still not as bad as Sophie's choice. Yeah, just so, so just you, saying. So you're going to go. So you're going to go up to five harm you've taken oh, so far. Man. Yeah. Don't you have to immediately roll harm again? Um, no, no, because but, he, he's already uh, done the harm roll on this. Ah. Okay. If he takes one more, he's going to have to roll the buy the farm roll, which is called acquire agricultural property in this game. <laughs> um, unless a medic gets to him. Yes, I, I see that he's bleeding profusely, and my next action will be to try to heal him. Um, so I think the order we're in uh, is yep. you next, Scott. <laughs> He, he, he went down the stairs. Yes. <laughs> you see teeth. Katunk, katunk, katunk. You know. Down the stairs, the gun comes by, I reach for it, tumble down another flight. I'm sure he's fine. Um, I feel happy. <laughs> well, let's see. What can I do to these animals? I mean, do I need some something to, to fuck with their tech? As so here's the wish. thing. You could get up there and try and fuck with them, but to do that, you're going to have to under, act under pressure because they are very dangerous. Um, but Phoebe look, looks like he's got it, right? I got this. He's got it. He doesn't have a, his big weapon, but and he's got it. He's got two cyber cyber beasts on him. You'll be fine. You can just, right. just go get the dog and, and then figure out how you're getting down 40 floors. Um, get the dog. I got it. Wait, I thought it was a 40 foot building, not a 40, 40, no, 40 40 story. 40, okay. 40 stories. Now, to get, oh. get the dog, what, what, what would I, I'd have to get past the other gang. Or... Yeah. And also, Ben has the equipment for sedating the dog. So I, I guess I'm going to help with the cyber animals. I'll make my under pressure roll and so roll cool, Scott. Hope for the best. Although this is this is <laughs> I'm starting I'm starting to get flashbacks <laughs> to last session. <laughs> to last session. This is like right? <laughs> Why don't you assist? Oh, oh yes. Oh. You trace. What does it look like when you get up there on these things? Um, basically, um, uh, our killer has has definitely sort of focused their uh, uh, attention on uh, him, and I sort of tuck my my uh, 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 cyber deck under my. Uh, arm and just break roll uh, uh, into the room uh, using the rubble as, uh, as co cover and then I, I sort of uh, uh, run and slide uh, 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 past this bear un under underneath its uh, underneath uh, its legs and basically find the vulnerable sort of spot to to fuck up at cyberware since you know I've I've seen a cyber bear before. Okay. So uh let's say that the plus one forward that you gave Ben, you're gonna eat that to essentially get yourself an advantage here, that you know where this spot is, okay? Um oh. so all you have to do is roll synth to all to, to to put it out of commission for a round or two. Sounds easy. Oh yeah, it is. I don't get any. I don't get any forward because I use that. Because okay. you use that to get the advantage. So just need to roll synth. Uh, seven, uh, uh, nine, uh, and <laughs> I have. Uh, you want to uh, use the last intel? It's my last intel because I don't want to get eaten by this bear. It is locked up. It's it's going to be. Uh, a little bit before this thing can break the algorithm routine that you jammed into its motor control system here. Fabian. The bear um, is sure. disabled. The cat is there. Okay. I whip out the uh, my other weapon. It's a 
Taunt Silence Machine Pistol. Okay. Linked auto fired. Um, and uh, I, I, I auto fire the heck out of this, both the bear and the gorilla. Well, and I, I have with my them, targeting. So which one do you want to hit? Even with the auto fire thing, I think that makes it area. Area. Said, okay, uh, that's right. You can temporarily give that area. Um, and normally, Scott would be a problem being there, but because I have the uh, neural targeting interface, I can exclude or include potential targets from my weapon damage. Awesome. Go ahead and roll that for me. Roll meat, and then tell me what the damage is on this thing. Okay. Uh, and because when he sees the gun being leveled his way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like Ringo doesn't give a shit. Because uh, because of the uh, neural interface, I can also use synth for this. Then roll it. Ten. Perfect. So, what is the damage from this thing? Uh, it's a pistol, so two plus. Uh, uh, I'm allowed to add my synth to the damage, so four. Four. Okay. So the cat is injured, but not down. Okay. Um, so uh, I need you to roll cool as it comes okay. in at you. And the ape? Uh, the ape's dead. Uh, okay. And the uh, I mean the other one. There were three. The bear. bear so. The bear that's frozen is kind of yeah. not particularly injured by that. Okay. Um. Okay. So now I need to roll cool. Act under pressure. Got to move fast. So it looks like 10. Perfect. So you get out of the way as this cat comes at you. Ben, what are you doing? Uh, so I'm going to go try and help <coughs> uh, Matt um, and um, with Medic. Okay. So rush past, run yeah. down the, 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 the stairwell, swing yourself down there, get to where he's at. Um, uh, go ahead and... Uh, roll, uh, apply first aid, which is cool. Cool. Okay. So what did you get? I rolled a five, it looks like. So the <laughs> good news is... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no more. You get to mark experience. Oh my god. <laughs> It's horrible. I jab him in the eyeball. The bad news <laughs> is the synth flesh isn't supposed to go up my nostrils. <laughs> oh my um, god. But here's the great thing about your medic. You always heal an additional harm segment even on a miss. Hmm. So, Matt, you get back one harm. All right. But, Ben, uh, you rush down to the bottom of the stairwell and... Uh, uh, you're going to take some fire. Uh, so you're going to take a harm from that. Okay. Uh, so I'll need you to roll the harm move as as that happens. Okay. Um, so do I mark 1,500? Is that what yep, I do? you'll mark yeah. 1,500. Right. Look at that. This is a great time to roll that shitty. You know what's great about rolling low on the harm move, Ben? That's what you want, right? <laughs> That's what you want. And you get to mark experience. <laughs> That's hilarious. Isn't that great? So look at that happen. Matt, Woo! what do you do? All right, I'm, I'm all fucked up at the, at the bottom of the stairs. I'm not about to run up into that nonsense. So I'm going to use my cybercoms to monitor what kind of signals are coming in or out of this, see if I can determine are these things broadcasting to somebody, is somebody communicating to them? Uh, hey, let's do I have see you any roll, signals going on uh, here? Assess. All right. Ooh. So that's a nine? Yep, I didn't fail a roll. Uh, they have an extraction chopper on the roof. That's, All right, then. So uh, there's probably no 
There's probably a pilot, but that's it up there and a small <clears throat> extraction chopper to, that, I mean, big enough to carry all three of these guys plus the dog they want to get. All right. Chip has an idea. <laughs> um, let's cut to uh, Scott. By by the way, Scott, you are there is a, a hail of there's an outline on the wall behind you, like pulp fiction style of all the bullets. I say, told you I wouldn't hit you. I am gonna do what I he's uh can to keep the bear incapacitated as long as po possible. Okay. Because I uh, really can't if you spend your action doing that, you can keep it locked up. Okay, that's what I will do. Okay. Uh, Fabian, still tangled up with this cat. Okay. Um, I will hit it again. Okay. Again, <laughs> let's have you roll that. Now, I do have to ask, does the cat have faster than normal synthetic nope, reflexes? No, nope, I would have told nurse? you. Nope. Okay. Nope. None of these that's guys why do. It, that's why I keep getting a plus one going oh, forward. Okay. I just wanted to explain that. Oh, no, not so good. So two, three, four, five, six. So the cat will hit you. Um, uh, it's three damage from the mono claws, uh, but it's not armor piercing. Okay, so two damage then. Crazy business. Oh, you have armor that reduces one? Yep. Yeah. Uh, All right, so, so you'll roll, and don't forget to subtract your dermal from the harm roll. Okay, so roll harm, and is it negative two here? When I hit, when I hit roll harm, mm -hmm. it's now saying harm suffered, and there's a oh, I have to put in how much harm I've suffered yep. before this strike or with this strike. Total. Okay, so four. And so, yeah, and then it'll be minus two off that. Okay, so it's five, nine, seven, which means, uh, uh, let me see here. Um, uh, I'm going to say that you and the cat are kind of... Uh, the the kind of smash through this wall and you don't you kind of lost track of where the other people in the group are um that you're now separated from them does that seem cool sure okay essentially you're you're locked up with the them the the grill is out of it uh uh scott's got the bear locked down but you're up with this cat who is wounded um but is still screeching at you and now uh, he took harm also from that oh, attack yeah. right um, no, because you rolled uh, uh, seven. Below, I, it's a successful. A no, I rolled a seven. It's a uh, okay. So it's rolling three, in three, four, four five, five, six. six. Yeah. Oh, six is below the threshold. Yep. Exactly. Got it. Um, my bad. No, no. Uh, uh, so uh, you've you are uh, in there with that, um, Ben. You patched. Uh, uh, Daddy, bye bye. Up, you've got that on him. What do you want to do now? All right. Um, <clears throat> so the uh, Fabe is engaged with this mega cat of doom. He's somewhere um, upstairs. You're not sure where he is right now. Right. And uh, do we have a beat on the dog anywhere? If I no, do you want to try and find the dog? Yeah, I'll uh, see if I can use uh, beauty to, s to find the dog. Oh, okay. Um, let's have you uh, roll uh, uh, synth or edge. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you could spot the dog. It, it's literally just in the next room from where Scott's at. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, they were just about to enter that area where the dog's at, and it's kind of sitting in there. Uh, uh, waiting, um, and uh, uh, and I'll, I'll tell the people that I found the dog. Um, there is still some. There's still some gang members up here uh, and in action. Okay, Matt, what do you want to do? Um. So is there? I'll be right back. An obvious way 
towards the roof. Yeah, they have repelling lines. And those are through the windows that are here. Um, yep. That'd be tough for me to... Hmm, you have to so climb right. up. Um, what the hell? Why not try? Act under if pressure, I sir. All right. Holy holy <laughs> Daddy, bye-bye. Describe to me what that looks like. So he's kind of limping by, and he's still broadcasting. Oh, yeah. Did your did your auto, like, pain meds kick in, too? Um, now he doesn't believe in modern medicine. He's just been taking massive rails off of his thumb okay. as he's uh, going. Because he, he, he believes in 80s-style drugs. Fair um, enough. And so he gets to that window where the cord's hanging down. He's like, here's where we get nuts, my little umpties. And he just hurls himself at that rope and starts climbing up. Okay. And again, this is SimSense broadcasting. So it's nuts to the people that are watching because they feel the pain. You know, uh, they, they feel the exertion. Okay. Uh, yeah, you will get up there. There is a chopper, uh, and you will see that there is a... Uh, an uplifted like lemur at the at the controls there um and uh you can move over on it if you want all right i will do that okay uh scott the bear is locked down there are more gang members around uh uh ringo somewhere the dogs in the other room what do you want to do i will communicate to uh um uh, to rake that uh, that he's the only one that's got the the dog anesthetic. Um, I need to get that uh, uh, get that dog, and I guess God, if I could get this. Um, uh, does this does this bear have any uh, uh, like cyber uh, controlled weapons that I could turn on these gang guys? Oh, that's a really interesting idea. Um, yeah, let's say let's say it does. Um, uh, that that seems like uh, 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 you want to use this uh, to to. Do you want to push them back, or are you trying to 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 actually do damage? What are you trying to do here? Uh, I'm going to try to push them back away from the uh, uh, dog so that Ben can get in to ad administer the anesthetic. Okay. Go ahead and roll meat. Um, meat? Because that's mix it up. You're trying to seize an objective here, trying to get them to do that. Oh. Uh, uh, Unless you want to get in their face and, and like... Don't do it, or I'm going to fire this buck bear's rocket launcher at you. You want to uh, that? That'd oh, be that'd edge. Be only slightly uh, harder, but yeah, that's more my 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 st uh, style. Obviously, they've they've seen me slip up beside this bear and, and him stop moving. So I'm going to assume it's not a jump for me to say that you know I'll, I'll make it. It, uh, uh, blow you away if you don't back off. Okay. Got the little pop-up shoulder mounts on it. On it. Okay, roll edge. Oh my god! They see that, and they can see that those are, like, badass rocket things, and you swivel them their way, and they scatter, Scott. They run every fucking which way to get out of the 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 line of fire from that okay um, that is awesome uh, that 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 gang they like they're they're freaked out because it was already this goddamn huge drone coming after them uh and and now these rocket launchers they don't want any part of that so they take off ringo Open. um i finish off the cat okay can you do it 
You're going to go before it does. If you can get this shot, if you can do this hit, you can probably take it off before it can kill you. Nine. Nine. Um, so you will do that, um, uh, and but you have to choose two. You'll kill it, but you have to choose two from the list. Okay. Uh, I need to look at that list. Yeah. Um, that is under, what is that? Where is that Mix list? Mix it up. Okay. So, yeah, you make too much noise, you take harm, ally takes harm, something of value breaks. Choose okay. Um, uh, one, it makes too much noise. Okay. So you're drawing more gang members up here. So okay. that's what's happening and, on that. Two, I can't afford to take any more harm, and I, I can't really, in good conscience, because I don't know, yeah, I can't make somebody else take harm for this, because that would be, well, yeah, anyway, so something of value breaks. All right, this uh, uh, machine gun that you use to blow, it, it, and it is done. That gun's done. Uh... Um, you serve me well, Tonto. But you've woof, throw down this cat. It is it is out. Um, uh, ben. Okay, so <clears throat> sorry, I had to step away for a second. Sure. Um, you want to get to the dog? I will get to the dog. <clears throat> your your way is clear because uh, uh, they've taken care of the gang. Um, uh, we'll assume that uh, you've gotten uh, uh, up uh, the, the, your drone back up, you will get this door open and you'll see this dog with some cybernetic implants and things and uh, it'll, it'll look at you and it will go, am I good? It talks to me? Yeah. Um, am I so good? You're good, so I push a button and put her in a stasis field. <laughs> All right, and you'll put the good dog in a stasis field. Matt. All right. Well, since I'm sneaking up on this lemur, I want to get needlessly violent on his ass. And uh, does he look, is he wearing armor or is he just like a lemur? He's just, he's like a cybered lemur. So you could mix it up with him. Um, well, it's, it's just a matter of which pistol I want to use, if he looks armored or not. Um, Doesn't look like he has armor. All right, so I'm going to use the flechette pistol then on him. Okay. Roll, mix it up, sir. Roll with me. All right. So that is an eight. Okay. So you get up on it, but what happens here? You get to choose two. I uh, bring up that document, uh, mix it up. Uh, I, uh, oh, geez, the ally takes harm. I love fucking with the group with my guy, but that's, that's just tough to justify in this circumstance. Firing the um, roof into somebody's head. <laughs> um, so I make too much noise. Oh, we're about to blow the mission. Um, and I will take harm as established by fiction. Okay. Um, so you blast into this thing, um, but it leaps at you and it will rake you with the claws for one harm. Oh, bitch. Bad monkey or lemur. Um, it's filled with flechette well. needles. Its last gasp is to tear you across the face. God damn it. Okay. Out of action. Uh, take an additional harm. Lose a cyberware. Lose a body part. Lose a body part. That, that, that monkey that took something from Monkey me. <laughs> takes out and its claw comes up and it tears your eye out. <laughs> okay. Um, then you, it kind of squishes that paw, gets in there because it's fast and it's strong and it tears it out and it probably scrapes across the occipital nerve there. I feel it kind of crack the, the bone in your skull and uh, it drops to the ground dead. 
Oh, and everyone can feel. Everyone at home I feels that. Everyone can feel that. How, how do you what like that? You <laughs> hear screams. Heinous fucks. Um, and you're at uh, 2,300, right? Yep. Okay. Remember, like, share on YouTube, leave a comment. So, Subscribe. all the comments are going to be out. I think that I'm going to, uh, if I may, guys, uh, I think this is the point at which I need to kind of move to a, 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 a wrap on this description. Can I, can I montage this bit? We're getting out. That's our point. Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, I assume it's a split between some people grabbing the copter, uh, the, the drone smashing its way down to get back to the truck, um, you guys rushing, getting this dog out of here, um, uh, gunfire, and probably e even as you guys are taking off, we can see the smoke rising as at least one of these blocks is going up in flames. Um, and it is just an absolute, absolute mess. Um, and I'm going to, uh, by the way, move this up. Uh, the um, International Immobiliare, uh, a degree from all of that, since the mission clock went to 2300. Um, but you guys will will get out. Um, bloodied, bowed, but still Half alive. unconscious. <laughs> um, and uh, minus one eyeball. <clears throat> um, I'm going to put something on that. Uh, we will cut to a late night uh, bloody trauma derm stuck on people's faces uh, meeting with your client uh, Kazashi Zach um, someone needs to roll uh, with a plus four for your leg work What's, what is leg, what stat is that off of leg work Oh. Roll, with, roll with plus four. Somebody roll 2d6 with plus four. Sure, I will. Okay. Um, I click. Sorry. Plus four. Good. So 11. you've got an 11. So you guys have... Uh, you get to choose three things from the getting paid thing it's not a setup or ambush take that okay there's one you're paid in full take that take that okay That's a good one and then uh the employer is identifiable the no. meeting doesn't attract attention everybody marks experience take that um the clock goes up if you don't take the um yep the clock goes up again well, whose clock Immobilare. Immobilare. Uh, where are we? At 2100. <clears throat> Mark experience. Okay. So, <laughs> Mark experience. Living Immob dangerously. Yeah. I'm glad we did that while Carl wasn't around. He'll come back and go, what the fuck? Did we have to talk to you, my son. So, do we normally... Would we normally... So, what's the progression? So, we got the job. We complete... Uh, we got to the job. Yeah, we I'm about to give the you the, the, ex the other experience we hadn't marked yet, okay? okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to that's jump okay. the gun. No, that's okay. Um, so the things we didn't got, get to. Um, you got the dog. That's a point. You got out. That's a point. You got paid. That's a point. Holy shit. I'm back up to eight. Yeah, you didn't find the thief and eliminate him, so you don't get a point for that. But everything else you do, so that's another three you got there, plus the the uh, the fourth one for what you marked at the end with that bonus. Is that cool, everybody? I think nope. I miscounted. Did I get ten from all of this? I don't know how many how many fuck ups did you roll. I didn't. Just a couple. Yeah, I leveled. I, I leveled up once. <laughs> one one because of the contact. Yeah. I, yeah, okay, level. Yeah. So, wow. Uh, when you hit 10, erase it and get your move. So we, staked, a, we staked two, and we got paid. We got paid well, so that... You will get four more, then. You get your two back plus four more. 
and I stake three, so I get my three back plus six more, right? Yeah. Don't forget, you can pay money to take uh, a threat clock down by a thing. So we'll come back to that. Um, so uh, that I'm, is it. Just a little, just so you know, I'm going to XP up my synth plus one. <clears throat> Sounds good. Yeah, you're going to probably have to pay to get you go to a hospital. <laughs> yes. Get some teeth replaced. Uh, hey, <laughs> hey, maybe you want to buy a cyber eye now, Matt. Oh, no, I, I've got so much money right now. I'm so ready for a cyber eye. <laughs> All right. Um, I am at twenty two hundred. Do I have to pay money to get this down? Yeah, you have to pay one credit to get down to twenty one hundred, and then so the rest cool. is is free. Cool. All right. Guys, is one credit per step above twenty one hundred, or just one one credit per step? So you yeah. have to pay two cred for that. All right. So I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stop recording. Um,